Hi everyone, happy Friday. Welcome uh, to this, our indie game spotlight uh, as part of the Roll20 Spotlight program. Tonight we are playing The Steadfast and The Rebellious, a very cool game by WH Arthur. Check it out, exclamation point steadfast in the chat. We'll get you the link to this itch.io page so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, I'm also going to hit Mission point cast so you can find all these cool people on screen right now uh speaking of them let's go around and say hi to everyone um hi i'm just this is my channel <laughs> and that's that's all that's all i got for you at echo underscore jg and all the places and i don't have a character name yet because this is one of those super fun games where we make it all up all of it we know almost nothing going into this which is always fun um, so let's I can do this next on screen is Corvin. Hi, I'm Corvin at Corvin Appleby on Twitter. Uh, and this is my second time being on Jess's channel and I'm very excited about it. Heck yeah. Awesome. And then next is Kevin. Hey, I'm Kevin. You can unfollow me at knit underscore neck on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, unless you want to go see hot takes on shitty Southeast Asian settings and games. Uh, but otherwise, I'm here. I sometimes play games. I sometimes run games on here. And I sometimes make games. And that's me. In a nutshell. And I don't know my character either. <laughs> oh, my pronouns are he, him. Perfect. And Jordan. I'm Jordan. I'm at Made of Cartoons. I'm hanging around the channel a fair amount, usually uh, as a GM on Saturdays for um, uh, Blades in the Dark. And we had our first Blade in the Dark last session, which uh, <laughs> you know, was which was our second last session. It just took forever. Um, so uh, yeah, watch our finale tomorrow. Yeah, our our series of Blades in the Dark was more like Blades in the Dork. Um, yeah. <laughs> bunch Honestly, bunch of nerds. Upper. Yeah, ru rubber knives in the library is a little more appropriate, I think, for what it what it was. So, but we had a, we were having a good time. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. But yes, um, this is an awesome game. As I said, it is entirely uh, is entirely. Gosh, what's the word? Like improv. Uh, there's well, not entirely. There's prompts that you use. You pull cards. We are letting the deck decide the story for us. We do have to decide one thing before we go in too, too far. Um, and that is sort of what we want our setting to be like. But I think I will read the just the little bit of the beginning bit um, that, in fact, encourages us to decide our setting and then we will we will discuss our setting so um you're all inhabitants of the city and you have all been living in false peace under the rule of the demon king the last wall which offered your city limited protection against the demon king has fallen citizens are left with two choices do everything the tyrant demands or resist will we rise victorious against the demon king or will our resistance be futile? We play to find out. So we don't know the exact sort of location or look of or feel of our city yet. We just know we are in a city that is being run by a horrible demon king and we must rebel, basically. So um, yeah, and, we, and we get to define what the demon king is and what yeah. the wall is and what yeah. the yeah and like it yeah because it doesn't wall... have to be fantasy it yeah could be in, it could be in a space station yeah it could be on a world completely covered in water we have lots of options <laughs> i was gonna say we might have been discussing the possibility of doing a water world type scenario but i would also like to like to propose league of extraordinary <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> i i i held back Kevin, mentioning that conversation during my my brief moment. No, because no, I dive all in. Yeah, we have to do a whole other point counterpoint point stream sometime because I have a rant about that film. Ugh. Just okay. mad now. Join Thanks. us another time for our discussion <laughs> just, show. Yeah, Jess, can you host a, a point the round point table. on the? Uh, yeah, a two person round table on. <laughs> no, we. I'm sure we can find more blades. people. <laughs> no, I want to. I want to chew out Kevin specifically. <laughs> <laughs> Just I two like, cameras. That's it. Yeah. 
I, I genuinely like the idea of starting a series where it's just contentious media and then bringing people on to argue the merits yeah. or the faults of the contentious Ooh, I, media. I would like to be a regular guest on that. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of opinions on many subjects. Um, but Lieber and Sir Gentleman is, yeah, is, it will always be the die, a hill I die on. I don't know why. Uh, I, will, I know exactly why. Well, but for other reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so as you were saying, even the wall doesn't need to be a literal wall. It could be no. like a law or something in place. It could be something like it could be. The game um, uses fighter, thief, mage, and cleric because that's a language that I think most role players understand the roles um, of those people. But you could be a techno wizard or a space healer, as it says in the in the, the writing here. So the setting is really up to us um, how to interpret it. Um, I mean, I, I'm all for water world. I, if you're talking about Waterworld, capital W, Waterworld. I don't know. I don't remember anything about the movie. I remember <laughs> the guild, and and I think they drink their own pee a lot, um, which you know we don't have to specify I, in our I, world. I don't think we need to be beholden to the rules of right. the Waterworld. We yeah, could really? just. Wait, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. A Waterworld is interesting to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Are we um, going water to have... world really only has like three rules like water and dirt are apparently like the most valuable commodities mm -hmm. and everybody just lives on like islands of ships just tied together or yeah like, yeah rail rigs like which literal I... like fleets and armadas that have been like compact. which i do like um we also have to have a city of some kind oh my god the could the wall be water could the wall just be water yeah. but the wall the wall's gone now mm. And this is some kind of, all that's left is water. And some kind of dirt demon? Is that the or sorry, the Corbin, salt? what were you saying? Yeah. I I also had like the idea of like I, I'm really big into like magitech settings where like technology is fairly advanced, but it is powered by magic. Mm. And I think like like I also love the water world idea. I feel like maybe like if there was a a magical protection circle or something like maybe there's something in the water mm -hmm. maybe there's like some um some coral that we fostered through magic through magic mm. that like protects us and has mm. that generates this this magical barrier yeah and, and uh, it... maybe the demon could be some kind of like sea monster of some kind demon king it's funny because you like you said uh like like some sort of like almost like a coral reef wall that a magical coral reef wall that protected us. So it makes me think that the demon is like a pollution based demon. <laughs> if we're going water world, then. <laughs> um, I'm imagining, you know, a less sexy Tim Curry pollution demon from Fern Gully. I don't know how many people will get that reference, but. Oh, I thought I, mine, mine went there too when you started talking about pollution. <laughs> Like, um, hmm, hmm, I think, um, I think like if we want to mix the two, like some sea monster, like maybe it's, a, maybe it's some ocean life that got like mutated over the generations by mm -hmm. pollution and like mm -hmm. sort of it's a meeting between the two. It's like it's now it's big and bad because of pollution. Yeah. And then yeah, it like we, through, we like, are the reason we yeah. that the monster exists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. So it's our fault that the monster exists. But like, uh, I like the idea because we said that the coral reef was also like a magical barrier that it eats living things, but also magic. So it almost sort of like destroyed slash consumed the wall. Oh. <laughs> okay. Does that kind of okay. make sense? Yeah. The monster, did you mean? Yeah, the, the monster, demon king. the demon king. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he almost like eroded it. Yeah, sure. Like they just found like one weakness and like, exploited that until the whole yeah. thing was gone. Until it came down. Yeah, I and now we that. live under the regime regime of this monster, presumably. So yeah. it's a sentient something or other that we created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are we on the water or are we underwater? <laughs> Are we Kevin Costner with gills? <laughs> or are we everyone except Kevin Costner? 
I've I've always been a big fan of all the boats strapped together. So I kind of like that idea. Um, then Could we have, have both? Different... Well, I. Could we have a city that's partially like above and partially underwater, like almost like like, like a dark like submarines, maybe? Yeah, like too, yeah. yeah, and there could be some submarines, like like it's essentially Ooh. built around like an old oil rig that has like a the drill that goes yeah. down. Yeah, the so there's some up, there's some up stuff, and there's some down stuff. Maybe mm -hmm. um, there's big chains that are anchored to the ground, and there could be like little bubble habitats that are kind of like attached Ooh, yeah, to the chains you. all the way down. Mm -hmm. Um. Are we people? Or like, are we humans? Sorry, I, we're all going to be people, obviously. Are we? Are we objects? Uh, or do we want mermaids and well, all that kind of stuff? I I know what your vote is for mermaids. No, it's not that. <laughs> I in a world where things have been altered by magic and stuff like that, I can't help but feel like there would be some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some yeah. like. Some of us magically have... altered because humanoids. Like boat islands, yeah. then there's like there's like standard human non non evolved humans, but then those that live below get used to the pressure. Those that, they have like higher lung capacities and things like that. Maybe sure. Maybe they're not like exactly mermaids, but like we refer to them that way because of how they've like kind of adapted yeah. to that it's environment. Like a colloquially, there we call them the mermaids because they mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh. like an expanse how they have like the. The people born in space they're like they're humans technically but they've just been yeah. out there so long yeah. that they've got longer limbs and things like that yeah mm, i like that so the beginnings of like evolution of living underwater is starting to are starting yeah. to take hold okay i like that yeah yeah um all right well we got a good a basic construction here there's a few specific questions they'd like us to answer um oh and we're gonna i like i'm a big magic tech fan i'm with corbin on that so if the the uh, technology is kind of modern esque, you know, there's computers and things, but or something, but they're all run by mm. magic and magic and uh, power. So there's like, is there like a dichotomy of good and bad magic? It, 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 did the, does the pollution represent the bad and it's corrupted things, um, mm. or is maybe we all and, we sorry, go ahead. Maybe we had Magitech, but then once the pollution like sort of got in and the Demon King with his pollution got in, like the Magitech like was dampened in like in mostly mm. areas. Like it like access to Magitech was not as much. Like if you're privileged to be like of in the Demon King circles, then you get like all the Magitech. But outside of that, we don't get as much Magitech, and that's why there's like such this tension. Okay. There could be like a connection between like the pollution and like magic is dying kind of like maybe the magic is sourced like from the health of the planet yeah i like that i like that a lot <laughs> um, <laughs> any story that goes even remotely eco warrior i am in yeah <laughs> you've, you've <laughs> sold me <laughs> like and the pollution i guess is like feeding on it and and it, the pollution likes them the pollution demon thing likes the magic too but it's like burning through what's left right yeah, you were, I like the yeah. idea that there's these fancy Magitek gear being invented on behalf of the Demon King now, but it's all just for abusing. Whereas before we had a balance or something. Yeah. yeah okay. Cool. Sweet. I like it. This. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want? Do you want to answer our three questions before we figure out our classes? Our roles. <laughs> there's three questions on um, page. Page four, right side. Four. Yeah. We could each read one out. I... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. I can start. Thanks. Let's see, where do we gather our for our fellowship? Is it the Riverside Tavern where we drink and be merry, or the abandoned warehouse where we hold regular meetings, or the church roof where we admire the view and exchange stories? Those are suggestions, not mm -hmm, options. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think to narrow it down, like, do we start on above on like this? flotilla or we start below i like the idea i like the idea that maybe the the, the demon is like under the demon king lives underwater mm. and so people who are privileged get to live underwater as well and then everyone else has to live up on the kind of crummy rusty boats um mm. you know and that kind of mm. just flips our people who are nice li fancy live in the high towers and you know so we, yeah, yeah the, the lower you down know? you live actually the nicer it is mm -hmm. yeah i love that 
Yeah, because pollution in real life tends to float to the top, especially. Yeah, that's the ocean. true. Yeah. Yeah. And also, take that, Ariel. You were wrong. <laughs> it's not better. And anyways, um... in this one scenario, it's not better down where it's wetter. <laughs> no, it's. Um... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. So, so is our hideout? Like, do we have like? It's a meeting spot, right? Is what's saying. Where do we gather? Yeah. Yeah. Um. One of my favorite books is called uh, The Scar, and it actually has a big city called Armada, which is just hundreds of boats all strapped together, and the, they're basically arranged like skyscrapers and the bigger boats, like big um, uh, like cruise ships and stuff are all near the middle, and then all the dinghies and everything go out, and there are, um, you know, like tugboats to kind of drag the city around. So I, I like the idea that if you were at a distance, you could see that it looked like a city skyline. But when you got close, you realized that all the buildings were just boats, different boats of different sizes, all strapped together. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we've got some cool one of the a boat that's been converted to a pub or something that we hang out in, or mm. um, you know. Okay, so it has to be. <laughs> I like the idea of like an old tugboat, but it has to be big enough. That there's like a kind of a, oh no, a dive bar and like a diving ship. Nope, can't do it. Um, <laughs> I was like, you could literally have literal dive bars here. Um, kind of fun idea, actually. Like, if it was like, yeah, there was a big hole in the middle, and you know, you they would supply you. They could you could go for a dive. Yeah, yeah. it's one of those old touristy boats. Yeah, yeah, and they called it the dive bar and. It's it's actually pretty nice, but you know the name is a little ironic or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's not where we're meeting. I feel I like the idea of us meeting in like a a, a grimier spot, if that's cool okay. with folks. Yeah. That's just my my idea of like rebellions happen in like dark, dingy places. Mm -hmm. I think maybe if there was like a big cargo ship with like all these, I'm thinking of those big storage units. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, car, um, like cargo containers kind of thing? Like? Yeah, cargo yeah. containers. Yeah, that's... Yes. Like, maybe if we met, like, in in a ship that, like, was carrying a bunch of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe there's actually a big public social place, and then, mm -hmm. like, we all sneak off to the containers. That like, could also turn into, like, our low-rent housing, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the cargo containers end up being being just where people who don't mm -hmm. have a lot of mm -hmm. water world cash, I guess dirt in this case, um, don't have <laughs> a lot of dirt, um, live. I forgot dirt was money. <laughs> like, yeah, oh my god. there's no land. There's no land. Yeah, but oh, god. What do you do with the dirt? Um, you grow so, stuff. I guess I am. Uh, Although, so honestly, really you could use non... Containers. Yeah, earth. <laughs> And then, like, like one of them like looks like it's full, but then it's got a false wall in the back, and it leads to a bunch of cargo containers that like connected. Like we've yeah. made like one big space in there to for like our whole revolutionary group. Yeah, I like yeah. I like the idea that some stuff is rusted out to the point where the boats don't work anymore. They've mm -hmm. just been like repurposed, and all the cargo containers are all stuck together from wear. And yeah, so we you, yeah you basically had to mine your way out, uh, like mine the inside of all the cargo containers. That's cool. Yeah. Is it, so is this our home? Is there a place, uh, like a particular place there that we go? Do we just meet on top of them all? Like, what's the... Well, sorry, I don't know who said it, but I like the idea of like what, like there's a cargo container that appears mm -hmm. kind of normalish, and then like there's a, a like a secret door, or a secret passage, mm -hmm. or a, like a or a hidey hole that you either like drop down mm -hmm. or slide open or mm -hmm. or something. So it looks like. A normal messy semi used but not fully used and then it takes you to where we actually do our meetings and the, there's also like the the larger cargo boat part of the boat the boat part of the boat <laughs> is actually used for like public like there's actually mm -hmm. stuff happening in that part so there's just a part of it that has that has been turned into a fake that looks like a stack of cargo containers but is actually hollowed out into a yeah a, a nest of hidey holes and mm -hmm. and uh, tunnels 
Oh, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Do we have yeah. a name for it? Uh, the place where we cargo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <sighs> write it down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, what's a car, Kevin? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen one of those ever. Her um, tail. The ancient pants. <laughs> the <laughs> mythical creature that you could, that would eat you and carry you to various places. No one's got enough dirt to drive a car on, Kevin. Come on. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, they're like land boats. Come on. Land boats, yeah. <laughs> that's that's how, what they would call them. That is what they would call them, land boats. In, water, um, in the un, unwritten, as of yet, unwritten Waterworld 2, they call them <laughs> land boats. Um, um, I was going to say, like, something like the nest seems too obvious to me. Something like the cove or the... Gosh, Warren? I was thinking like it's weird that you said nest because I was thinking something to do with like crow's nest maybe. Mm. It does work since it is ship and all. Yeah, yeah. You could go with like the gull's and nest or something. Off. Different different seabird. Um, it's weird that it's called the crow's nest actually because I don't think there's a lot of crows out in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. It really ought to be a more sea based bird like the osprey's yeah. nest or something like that. Yeah. I mean, if all like sort of land-based life is moving to these flotillas, then crows got nowhere else to go. That's true. Yeah, it's true. In our, in our alternate universe, crow's yeah. nest makes sense as a name. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all for the crow's nest. I like that, especially if we've got a little lookout part point on top. Yeah, to watch out for like demon kings patrols coming to look for anti uh, anti. Yeah. Establishment types, I guess. <laughs> Anti-establishment types. I like that. Uh, I think that settles that first question. Do we want to do the yeah. second question? Yeah, Corbin, you want to read that Corbin, one? Corbin, you want to read the second question? Yeah, I'll read that one. Um, what is a symbol of freedom in the city? Uh, the examples they give is, is it the university where ideas are freely exchanged? Or the town square where opinions are freely expressed? Or the wedding registry where people are free to love? Oh, that's so interesting. I love I love the use of like always being like, well, here's also something. Yeah. Not physical. So what what is the symbol of freedom in the city? What is what is the one thing the demon lord lets the people who live up in the boats have? That's what that's how I kind of interpret this. It's sort I, of like the one thing that they're like, Yeah. You can well, have this. I feel like is it is it they let us have it or is it they claim they let us have it because they can't it's something they can't control it's something hmm. you know what i mean so so they yeah. act they act all high and mighty about it they act like yeah i'm giving you this but but everyone in the city knows that this is the one thing they can't take away the one thing they can't take like i love i love the idea that it's something like that um something they genuinely have no what's something that they would have no hold over As, as an ocean monster, <laughs> as an ocean we, we monster demon to, king. We were talking about like the big chain anchors, hmm. and I'm wondering if there's something there that maybe there's like linchpins that hold them to the city or something at the top, and they were like warded and and constructed so long ago that you know nothing can touch them. Uh, you know nothing can touch them anymore. I'll and take that and raise you a bell. Like something that is at the top. Like think of like a bell tower at the top. Something like, you know what I mean? Or like, um, like a, almost like a lighthouse or almost like something that would be, you know what I mean? Like literally like right at the top and they cannot touch it. They can't reach it. And, and may, yeah, maybe it's literally they can't leave the water or something. Yeah. Oh. They can or, like, or, or they can't leave for very the long. Of this yeah. Portola, yeah. And it's, too high up they don't got the angle on it yeah i think i think I'm, they can come out of the water a bit but i don't think i'm always down for a lighthouse yeah so that yeah, is I like... um literally a beacon of hope 
yeah, yeah. A classic, really. Um, what does it look like? What's weird about it? I want to. I want to make it kind of weird looking and interesting. Uh, uh, William Defoe is naked up at the top. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, they really normalized the Willem. So that movie really normalized Willem Defoe naked in a lighthouse. I think. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's too mainstream. <laughs> Actually, what's weird is every other lighthouse in this universe has that, but ours doesn't. Right. <laughs> ours, ours is the only one without free. Willem Dafoe. Yeah. Yeah. We're stuck with Robin. <laughs> in our city, we didn't spill the beans. <laughs> oh my god! I can, make a, I can make a lot of lighthouse references if you want. If you want. Am I the only one that hasn't There's seen this? Of... No, I've also not seen it. Okay, okay. I've heard a lot about <laughs> it, it, but I haven't seen it. You should watch it, but it's very hard to recommend. Yeah, it's a it's a good movie, but it's hard to explain. Uh, but I'm gonna call Kevin a wiki for the, the rest of the night. Um, <laughs> that's what fans of the Lighthouse call each other is wikis. Oh my God! Stop it, you you two! Like I'm gonna put you two. You keep doing this. <laughs> We're like best friends and mortal enemies all at once somehow, and I and I like it a lot. Um, that's so all, that's all fans of things. Yeah. Oh my God. And, um, I, how about it's, it's grown? How about it? How about, how about it's grown out of the coral? Like everything else in the boat, we we mm -hmm. found this. We when when the city was founded, they found this like towering, um, like um, natural structure that we mm -hmm. built. Uh, we strapped our boats to um, when we fled because of the world becoming water. Yeah, I could get down with that. And we like grew. We grew the lighthouse around it so that it's like a, it has, it's not, it's not like magic, it's not like electricity or something, it's like bioluminescence or something. Ooh. Ooh. So. I love, I love the thought that it's bioluminescent light, so it has like a really interesting eerie kind of coloring and glow to it. Yeah, so like, it. Uh, it doesn't, the tenders of the lighthouse don't, don't like have to light it with a flame, but they have to like, mm -hmm feed the coral and and, yeah. and 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 foster the glowing or something like that. So I because I, I like that image of like a bunch of old boats, rusted out boats all kind of mm -hmm. wrapped around this natural thing. I like the image that instead of like that that sort of jarring beam of light from lighthouses we usually get in like a sort of media, this is like a, a, a soft glow. Yeah. Mm. Out. Like yeah. Almost... yeah, I was gonna say, I, Corvin, I love that. Like, uh, instead of you know, like a lot of lighthouses have the beam that, yeah, exactly, you're saying it kind of like turns and it points. Instead, this just like fully just like pulses, like mm -hmm. almost like a, a heartbeat, like yeah, Ooh, yeah. yeah, maybe like a. It's literally the heart of, of our city. Oh no! There we go. <laughs> oh no! I'm calling it the heart. I'm writing this down. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hundred percent. That was the clear option. <laughs> Oh no, the cheese. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um Okay. And Willem Dafoe is like a fish man. So <laughs> There's no Willem Dafoe. <laughs> we said this. Right. How dare you defy Dafoe? <laughs> Listen, there's the what makes our lighthouse special is that there is no <laughs> Dafoe. It is <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's, def it's the yeah. yeah. It's that's the a, you know, he's he's great in almost every movie he's in, so that's real too bad. Um are you gonna read He's don't are you, gonna, are you gonna read the last one? Um am I reading the last one? Okay. Um what was the last wall that protected okay, we kinda did this. What was the last wall that protected the city from the demon king? Is it an ancient treaty that is now void or a benevolent leader that was assassinated or a literal wall that has fallen? So, I mean, we kind of said that ours was kind of like a, a magical ar uh, warded coral reef almost, right? Like a coral reef ward? What do we, what do we want to call this? What's the... Oh, the, the reef makes sense, like just calling it the a reef. reef or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we... Um, I mean, we were gonna go. We're gonna go with the fact that we neglected it, kind of, and then it um, the thing I, took advantage. Or yeah, we probably didn't. We probably didn't do like enough. Like we probably like had enough. Like I like the idea that it's like almost 
um yeah i guess like what you're saying a little bit like of negligence we just kind of like took it for granted yeah and... we got complacent in our system. yeah exactly we could tie it into someone passing or something like there was one person a sage or something like that that sort of <laughs> like shouldered the entire burden of it and william defoe Yep, and he is. Yes. he's naked yeah. up in the lighthouse all the time. Uh, you don't want to know what he's doing up there. And no. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but I mean something. You know, it could be anybody. It could be it could be the f the first of those people who were touched by the the sea. You know, that get the get the. You know, they were the first sort of um, person showing signs of living in the ocean or something. I don't know. Mm. Um, yeah, maybe they're the last remaining of the first water people. Like, they were the last remaining of the... So there's still water people. In fact, there's more evolved water people now. Um, you know what I mean? And so it's almost more like, yeah, this is normal to be all, like, blessed by water and stuff. Whereas, like, in their day, it was, like, still new and special. And, like, the original water peoples are the ones that built the warded coral to protect us. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Or does anyone have anything else? And I mean, because of the tradition to get passed down or something, now this person has passed and we are, we're not safe. We weren't safe anymore and mm -hmm. crappiness got in. And then maybe our like magic, the healing of the mage and or healing of the cleric and the, the power of the mage or something is the rebellion is start is like trying to find pieces of what that person was doing so that we can start rebuilding and, and sharing the sharing the power to maintain that the protective wall you mm. know because it's everyone's responsibility you know yeah. yada yada moral of the story that's <laughs> like kind of our where the complacency comes in like we all just like took it for granted and we just let the responsibility fall to this one person when that's yeah. like too like no that you can't just have one singular mm -hmm. person to rely on uh what's that book everybody has to read in middle school where like it's just one person who knows how to read books. Oh, The Giver? The Giver, that's it. Mm. Um. <laughs> yeah, there's only one person with, like, memories of the past or something like that. Is that it? Okay. No, but I think you're right. They're the only one that's, like, allowed to read. Everyone else just has to, like, mm. follow the rules or something like that. But they also the only one that can keep all the memories. Because slowly the Giver has to give all their memories over to the new Giver. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spoiler alert for a book from like 30 years ago, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I never Sorry. read that one. I know the name, but I really it it's a real short book. I think I have it on my shelf. I can give it to you. You can sit it, read it in like one sitting. It's really good despite being required reading in school. Yeah. It's really nice imagery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do okay. not watch well, the Jeff Bridges movie. There's a movie? Mm hmm. Oh gosh. Jeff Bridges, which is disappointing. <laughs> oh yeah, Kevin, well I love the Giver movie. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for it, honestly. <laughs> You're entitled to that opinion. Uh, that's episode two. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. <laughs> that's uh, the name of the show. You're entitled to your opinion. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. There it is. Well, this we've just concocted our this is next just programming and yeah. it's been cracked. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, we like that. We we like that angle that some, and I mean they can have been gone for a long time now. The demon king mm. has been there for a while, so we don't even need to worry about the specifics of that that old. Yeah. Dead, old dead person. But, yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Now we pick our classes, right? Yeah, now Ooh, we're gonna figure out what classes time role we are here. Awesome. Uh, so we decide we're gonna do random. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if everyone just wants to draw one card from the deck, I guess. Um, actually, does that make sense? I think we'd Maybe. have to do it one at a time. Yeah. Is how we'd okay. have to do it. Yeah. So for anyone, um, if uh, if you haven't already, exclamation point steadfast in the chat will take you to this wonderful page where you can purchase this game and follow along with us. P.S. Uh, but so. Uh, it literally says when we begin the game, each player picks a suit, so you can pick a suit, but I mean, a lot of the game is defined by drawing cards, so we decided we kind of want to let the story unfold in a, a sort of, uh, card-given manner. 
The cards giveth and the cards taketh away. Um, the rest of the game, you get dealt a few cards and then you choose and then you from pick. those cards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but what I could do, what we could do is just choose, we'll go in, in our order that we yeah. had on the screen and then uh, and deal will, a random card out. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm going to just, I'm just going to draw a card. Wink. I got hearts. Right. What does that make me? Oh, I'm the cleric. You're the cleric. <laughs> it me. Your cleric friend. And Corbin? I got... Did that work? Did it draw? Uh, yeah, I don't see it on my end. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. No worries. I got... What? Okay. Let me try this again. Would someone else be able to draw a yeah. card because I'm having trouble on my end? Yeah, it's fine. Who wants to do it? Should I do it? I I I can do it. Okay, go for it. Uh, Appreciate that was another heart. So Redraw. <laughs> okay. Spade. Um, that's that makes you the thief. Okay. <laughs> All right. Kevin, you want to draw one? Yeah. Take whatever's left. Ooh. Mage. Nice. Cool, which makes me the fighter and the club. Um, so I'll recall all these cards back to the deck. Yeah. And um, shuffle. Because yes. after you recall, you have to shuffle. Otherwise, they don't necessarily. So top to bottom, we're doing it's Jess, Jess Corvin, Kevin, me. Yep. Okay. Yes. All right. So Jess, you ended up the cleric. Yep, it me. Over the sign here. And um, Corbin, you are the thief. Mage and the fighter. Cool. Neat. I never I never take the never play fighters, so this is good. Um mm. eh, it's okay, I can move it. That's okay. That green line is going to move now because I just moved that over. Okay. Okay. I will move. I'm going to move the green line. Close move that to... thin green line. It's right there. That's the line now. Okay. Behind the scenes production stuff. You Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> Jess has dr Jess has drawn a line, people. She's drawn a line. <laughs> this is it. Can't go past it. The line. Speaking of which, exclamation point safety dance and the will get you safety tools. Safety tools. Use them in all your games. Draw lines and stick to them. Boundaries are good. Hey. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> so now uh, we get to name our characters and which is uh, just up to us. Do we um, want to each read off the little thingy about our um, class? Because each of the class has, has a little like blurb of Oh, yeah, sure. I'll read mine first because it's We'll do it in the order up there. Yeah, we'll do it in the same order if that's mm -hmm. cool with everyone. Uh, if you want to find your blurb, and then so I got hearts. So the hearts represent love. You address problems with your charisma and healing powers. Uh, your character class is cleric. You are driven by compassion. Your enemy is hatred. How interesting. I'm, you know. True. All right. The spade is a tool. You approach problems with your skill and finesse. Your character class is thief. You are driven by your honor. Your enemy is corruption. The diamond represents clarity. You solve problems with your smarts and magic. Your character class is mage. You're driven by your desire for truth. Your enemy is deception. Um, and the fighter, the club is a weapon. You confront problems head on. Your character class is fighter. You are driven by your courage. Your enemy is violence, which is interesting. Which is very interesting because it just said that you yep. you're driven by your courage is what it is as opposed to like I like that I like that it's not just like that your enemy is actually violence that's really interesting. What we might get to this in a bit, but what kind of weapon? What kind of like what do our weapons and things look like? Like, am I hmm. sword and board, or is it like harp handheld one-handed harpoon guns and stuff? Ooh. Like, Ooh. I think you can get either way, like one-handed harpoon gun, or you have like just 
like a piece of a rusted off ship and like a lead pipe or both. Sword sure like you could go either way i think a little bit of a bioshock bad uh, bioshock bad guys vibe where they just like have yeah. rusted old junk that they swing at you yeah okay yeah. I'm 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 all for like an old uh, rusty wrench of some kind, pipe wrench. So, Sweet. as my as my club, you know. Okay. Do you have like a Do you have like a small like harpoon gun on your hip or something? I really like... I really kind of want one. Uh, yeah. I want like a handheld one that also that 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 has like a rope on it so that I can like drag people drag people in. Yeah. No, Ooh. that's a uh, fun story. My dad had a harpoon gun for well, because I've said this before. My dad is from an island. Um. And so I've seen my father disappear into the ocean with a harpoon gun and return <laughs> with just a line of creatures, like, <laughs> ha ha harpooned upon it. And, like, it does have exactly what you're describing. It has the, like, it has, like, a cord for, like, bringing mm -hmm. it back in. And it has the thing where, like, when you look at it head on, it looks just like a straight stick. But then at the end it goes like, whoop, and then it goes like this. So the things can't can't get back off it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's it kind of has to have the rope, otherwise you're just throwing a spear yeah, into, the, into the ocean. It. <laughs> <laughs> so and you might, randomly stabbing fish. <laughs> you might skewer a fish, but you're not gonna see that fish again. Yeah, uh, that doesn't work. You can just rest easy knowing there's one less fish in the ocean. Yeah, that's more of just a javelin on a mount. <laughs> like <laughs> you've created the protagonist fish. It'll come back for vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so names. You we have know. to do names. Can all uh, of you edit edit the text? Oh, yeah. Is everyone able to? I can edit text I made, but not other people's text. Let me just check real quick to make sure that I can. I can, I can write stuff in for you too. Part yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, know I, I did because I, I wrote our deets up at the top. Um, What's a, what's a water cleric's name? Um... I'm going to call myself uh, Abraham, after my favorite uh, fish man. <laughs> uh, good old Abe. Good old Abe. <laughs> so weird what Guillermo del Toro did with him when they gave him the spinoff. And, uh, and... <laughs> I get the joke. <laughs> I was like Hellboy spinoff, but now I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, hey, Fishman deserves love too. True that. Is it too cheesy to just be named Pearl? No. I'm gonna go with that. We've been living in this place for a long time. There are it's... people named Pearl now, and we don't live on the ocean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but like it's very on the nose. It's mostly like, people in their eighties and nineties, but it's, it's cool. I mean, names come in like ebbs and waves. <laughs> ah, oh my god, bad. those well, see, Eb is Eb is a great name actually for for a water based character. Eb, yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. I was thinking of using it for a last know. name, but Abe Eb is a little hard to say. <laughs> I'm thinking the name Minnow. Oh, I love that. Like fish. Ooh, that's cute. I love that. That's super good. I'm putting. Is it M I N N O W? Yes. Okay. Last name's going to be Silt. Oh, that's very good. Oh my god, I <laughs> want my last name to just be Essent. <laughs> Pearl Essent, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. It's, uh. your, it's your life to live, Jess. <laughs> it's your parent, it's your character's parents' mistake to make. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I've heard it, worse names uh, in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does it mention is. putting your pronouns in if you've got, uh, and a nickname if you if you want. Oh yeah. So. Oh, and I can um, I can deal out cards. Got to be paranoid, and I'm going to shuffle it again. 
And Better safe than sorry. You never know. You never know what those cards are up to. Kevin, what was your name? Uh, my character's name is Lien. Her, her pronouns are she, her. Thank you. I'm going to update the layout. I think we've got... There we go. Um, yeah, that's right. Let me make the card. <sighs> okay, we can see the card, the the cards in each other's hands as well. So, gotcha. So that it, Corvin, if you can't, I can. I got mine. You got yours. Up. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Just in case, uh, and I guess we'll treat jokers. I didn't. I didn't realize there were jokers in the deck. We'll treat jokers as um, court cards, uh, like face cards. So, mm. um, makes sense. It seems like we a bunch of us got jokers. I, I moved everyone's <laughs> stuff around. I'm sorry, but I wanted it all to be similar. <laughs> oh, I guess I can get rid of my weird, not joke here. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right, so um, the next, if everyone's got their names and things, mm -hmm. okay. the next uh, part of this is we just build up who we, the rest of who we are, how we became who we are, the bonds between us, um, and then we move through to the actual revolution. Um, a revolution! <laughs> Sorry. Ex exactly. <laughs> That's why we hear the people sing. Aww. So. If we're going to go in the order uh, that we have on here, starting with the cleric, the thief, then the mage, then the fighter, um, you should each go to, we should each go to our specific um, section on page, pages five or six, depending on which you are. And we're going to take turns answering, um, uh, answering the first question. So how do you become known as the fighter in my case? And then we're going to pick two bonds as well. The bonds are with other players, or with other characters. So for my, in my case, I might choose the spade as a bond, and it's that they helped me out of a tough spot. And what trouble was I in? And I would pick another character or work out with you all who that is. Um, mm -hmm. all, all face cards, all court cards are all considered one suit of their own. So that court um, option is, um, uh, that court option is, you could play any of those. Um, so yeah, we each do two bonds, and then in our one, how do you become known as the blank, the fighter, the thief, whatever. Um, it appears you can do them in any order that you want. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. And then you can lay the card out beside your, uh, there should be some space beside your character. Um, I up guess until the you, green line. <laughs> up until that, yeah. Un up until that dangerous green line. Um, yeah, no, no going past the green line. <laughs> there might be an argument for us to put them out in order so that we could go back and remind ourselves so we know the first card answers the first question. Yeah. You know? um, and then the second, the next two cards answer th are, are the bonds. But uh, yeah. yeah. All right. So do we, we uh, want to do? Do we want to do where we like all? Just to keep it like clean and neat. For everyone, like, do we want to everyone do like one thing and then everyone do an extra? Like, we That's do that in rounds. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, sorry, yeah. I misunderstood. Yep. I apologize. No, no worries. It, it makes a note of that everyone gets the spotlight and everyone gets uh, uh, the spotlight is passed on and shared, which I would think is uh, good to encourage in any kind of game like this. So, the spotlight is our lighthouse. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's more of a pulsing, <laughs> effervescent glow. <laughs> In the spotlight. No, sorry. Um, let's see. Okay. So I have to go first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your first thing is how do you become known as the cleric? Yeah. I have one uh, How do you become known as the cleric? Okay, well, I need to check my hand and see what my options. Well, wow. I um, have mostly all the same cards. <laughs> Mm. It's just the suits we're looking at, of course. But yeah, yeah. But there's also the court, the court card, right? So oh I mean, oh actually no, these are these are all oh fudge. They're almost all court cards. Oh. Uh I was looking at the suits first and then um 
So if something is a court card, it is predominantly a court card, right? Like that's how yeah, that's we the rules. Yeah, we have a suit on it. Is what it says. Yeah. We have a suit on okay. It. Um. Oh, the court card for the cleric is. Uh, oh is dang, weird. that is oof. Yeah, the court card for the cleric is wowza. It seems like the court cards are the more um, rough things. Mm -hmm. They add a little bit of competition, so. Wow. Or, or, or yeah. A little bit of a dark side to things. Oof! Oh my goodness! And my bonds that I'm gonna have to do because of oof. If you're feeling stifled, we can say that the suits on the couch. I feel like I mean I don't think that it. I don't. No, no, I, I like it. In. I like. Give me the drama. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm 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 here for this drama. I'm ready. I love it. Um. <laughs> I'm I'm here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use one of my three out of four court cards um, for my cleric, how do they become known? And the prompt is, you belong to a religion that is now the mouthpiece of the dragon king. Oh, sorry, the demon king. Um, or in our case, the pollution sea monster. <laughs> um... How do you come to terms with that? This is so rough. Okay, I'm gonna pull out. You know what? No, no, I'm gonna pull out this one because I think it's appropriate. Uh, I'm gonna use the king. That seems appropriate to me. Um, so okay, actually, no, I love this. Uh, so we talked about how you know the barrier really started to go down when we when the last of the first ones kind of past um and you know the 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 demon lord sea monster pollution guy <laughs> it's a very scary name um it made sense like him underwater and him slowly pecking through the reef he would have slowly had access to, you know, those people and that, that churches would have been some of the first thing underwater and would have wanted to bend that in his favor to make sure that no one, you know, took up that mantle and regained that, um, that knowledge, perhaps. Um, I like that idea. Uh, and so he, one of the reasons there's so little practice of the old ways is he slowly kind of took over the church of um that were that that in, that promoted some of the old, old ways of doing things so um how do i come to terms with that i mean i come to terms with it being part of the resistance so but i think i think it does involve a lot of like i think it I think I do need to put on like a brave face and be like kind of. Do we know about it? I think you would. I think you would. I think you would know that like, um, I'm part of this church and I have to. Kind of. Stay in it, knowing how corrupt it is. At this point, and it really sucks. <laughs> like it really. You know what I mean? Like, like to go into these places that are like, you know, magical and mystical and important to me and, and see them so taken over by the ways of the Demon King and everything like that is real heartbreaking. Um, so, yeah, I think that. Uh, I, I, I think I have to, I think I have to like bow and bend and scrape to, to those sorts of folk a lot when I'm there. And then, and then I, my only, my only relief is being part of the resistance with all of you from it. Like that's literally the only relief. Oh, so I you're, get you it. are still active in that, as part of the religion. Yeah. I'm still a member of the church. I see. Mm -hmm. oh, and you're, you're seen as useful to the rebellion because of it or something. Yeah, although I don't think I'm like super powerful within the church. I don't think I'm like I think I'm like middle management, you know, like I never really went further because I'm not really. Mm. Yeah. Well, if you join the rebellion, you don't, probably... you don't play the politics game. Yeah, I don't I don't play the politics game enough. Like I do it enough 
to get by and you know what i mean like be i'm i i act agreeable but i don't fully give into the changes they've made to it that is an insidious implication too that the religion is how the idea of the demon king got like normalized to everybody mm -hmm. is that it snuck into their minds or whatever it was and maybe the religion hated this the old the old way of keeping the reef up and stuff and so they just were like oh no more no more reef and now the religion can be in charge and that's like what the one of the promises mm. that the demon lord made you know dark those court cards dangerous yeah. stuff yeah, thanks, court cards. Thanks. <laughs> Who's next? I like, when Jez, I like when Jez has to make sinister choices. Mm. Good practice for our heart game. <laughs> so I have, if I can get it to... How do you play a card? You should just be able to drag it out onto the, onto the board. Okay. And I can probably move it around for you then. Yeah, if you could. Um, I've got a club in my hand there. Yeah, I have um, to steal it from you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you'll have to approve the stealing. Uh, I will. I will let it go. This is. Uh, you know, I thought Corbin was. Yeah, stealing from the thief. The I'm thief, like this is a real honor among thieves. <laughs> okay. So real courageous uh, to steal from the thief for club there is uh you took lives as an assassin Damn. and the question is did your victims deserve it and i'm going to say that minnow made a point of knowing as little about the people involved in the jobs as possible like it's it's her rule any of her customers know like don't tell her anything she doesn't absolutely need to know but do you do you think that your customers think that they deserve it? Oh, like, I mean, to put she's very particular there. about like whose cases she takes. Okay, I think those are made less on informed decisions and on basic hunches. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. So you, or she wasn't doing it for. Um, any any other reason other than the payment just money yeah money. okay that's not even a court, a court card it's dark. <laughs> it's dark. i feel like the court cards all carry some degree of like status with them because they're all tied to the demon king right? it looks like uh, My, uh yeah interesting yeah the court cards the court cards all seem to have to do with you people you used to work with are now working with the demon king mm -hmm. so yeah okay all right who's next i am all right let me see oh you know what i've been looking at the wrong hand the entire time so <laughs> let me nice. just refigure uh jokers are court cards right yeah yeah i think that's, yeah, what, I'm that's what makes or I guess we'd think it'd be wild if you wanted to pick anything with them. But. Nah, let's 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 clown it up. I am going with the court card. How did you become known as a mage? Your family comes from a line of mages, and your family now serve the demon king. Do you hate them? Ooh. Ooh. I I will be very vocal in that I hate them. I will say like fuck them to the end of to till the sun goes down. But like push comes to sub shove, then there will be some conflict. So right. I'm like I'm one of those like yeah I'm I'm all talk but we'll yeah. just still family to walk yeah. the walk yeah yeah um, so you're very vocal about like like outwardly like is this publicly too like publicly yeah. you hundred percent you are, like sort are, of denounce your family mm -hmm. what are the I'm like yeah let's get the guillotines all that shit <laughs> oh, dang <laughs> line up mom and dad first <laughs> oh damn yikes uh. What what were the roles before of the mages and what and what do they do for the demon king now? Ooh. The roles of the mages before they I think they were a part of those first people that lived down below and like sort of had sort of uh 
split like the genetic line or like the evolutionary line of humans and like they had helped to they had they had done a lot of tending to the reef and things like that like not not so much to the um magical barrier but like making sure its health was okay and like also to the mm. the algae of the spire and things and like they the, they like helped um foster a lot of the wildlife around so that like keeping it in balance so that we had like a proper food supply and things like that but then now we serve the demon king so like we only now the mages only like make sure there's enough for like those that li- that like are in the demon king circles and then everybody else can go feed on like scraps and fish heads you're like an ecology mage <laughs> yeah exactly yeah closer to a druid i guess in a lot of ways yeah um, ocean druid Love yeah, it. and yeah. and your exposure to the stuff down below—that's what's kind of and over time has tr- has turned into coalesce into like magic power. Mm-hmm. I think so. Like being so close to like some of this bioluminescent algae and being so close, to, like a lot a long time exposure to this magical coral reef. Right, okay. Kind of, kind of a naturalistic uh, mm-hmm. magic. Okay. So magic, does your radiation same difference. <laughs> Radiation is just magic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is how people get superpowers in every comic, so <laughs> clearly it's magic. Um, I was going to say, do your parents live at, like, like in some of the, like, the equivalent of, like, you would normally say high ups, but, like, the deep downs? Yeah, they live down in the deep. 100%. They're, like, they, they live large down there. Oh, dang. Okay. 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 Are there, like, eating sushi? I'm, I'm really <laughs> doing the jest thing with a lot of questions, huh? but. Oh, yeah. I, I I'm curious. Are there like big bubble? Are there are there like big bubble cities down down in the deep? Is that where Ooh. most prestigious pre- prestigious places are? I think I think now there are like there's there's like one central hub where it's like probably some deep mining facility that was down there or like a biodome something like that. But then like once we had magic, we started to make like these little these like magical bubble cities, and like those are maintained by the mages, and like that's why they get to live down there because. They, mm. they're required to to maintain these and oh, and pass through to go tend like to the ecology. the idea that the coral and, and the, the, the wildlife inside the bubbles is like pristine. Like mm. it's maintained inside there for an, for almost aesthetic reasons only, but mm-hmm. then all surrounding it is like the corrupted coral yeah. and, and the demon king all the way around. Yeah, and there's like some bubbles of of, of water of clean water for like to to keep like that the the pure wildlife for like just for the rich folks that yeah like, yeah want. like like reserves you know mm-hmm. like um natural reserves kind of thing yeah um those luxuries mm-hmm. uh okay well i didn't get dealt any grim dark cards um, <laughs> so i'm gonna play a diamond um which is you teach people to fight who are yeah, your students yeah. So Abraham was a, is and 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 was a, far, a fisherman, um, and it's a I mean probably the lowest the lowest level on the pyramid of, of jobs. Like there's probably that's the main thing, and I, and I imagine most people fish. Uh, most people know how to fish on their own. I, you know, it probably isn't even an industry. I think everyone just fishes for their own things, um, which kind of you know you just need to do that or you'll or you're starved. It doesn't it doesn't make sense that anyone controls that up top and so um uh his, his abraham's abe's job <clears throat> is um uh, was originally teaching like young kids like 10 or 11 year old kids how to fish so that they could um you know eat eat for the rest of their life but um i I also teach them how to use, how to weaponize their, the fishing tools um, to fight. Like these are the people who are, these are the kids that are going to, you know, we're going to all get old and the rebellion will have to continue on. And so, you know, that's where I, that's where I see it. So I run sort of this um, weird harpoon, harpoon fight club for like, the uh the the 10 11 12 year olds and up of 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 our neck of the woods and um yeah maybe the oldest is they're in their they're like 18 or something like that and uh yeah i teach them how to use the tools we use every day uh for fishing and maintenance and stuff um yeah 
because swinging swinging a wrench, a pipe wrench or a hammer is not the same as uh, as a sword. Uh, they're not built for that. So it, it's a whole other fighting style. Um, and that's yeah, the cool. same way you teach them to club fish when, that they catch, they club right. fascists. Just imagine it's a fascist head underneath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You. <laughs> that's all. That's the only. That's the only difference. Fish. <laughs> fish before fascists. <laughs> Uh, okay. So yeah, I teach kids how to murder fascists. <laughs> a noble profession. Yep. Oh, a good Pro game. Fish. A good game we are playing right now. Yeah. Everyone. Pro fish, anti fash. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right, so now we loop back around to yeah. um, the lovely pearl, and we do bonds. Yep. Mm -hmm. I literally only have two options. So, um, <laughs> so I'm going to play my. This is your opportunity to drag me down into the mire of the court cards because you could make a court bond with me if you want me to have a dark side. Otherwise, I'm going wholesome fisherman all the way. I would be happy for you to get to play a wholesome character, honestly. We need one, well, looking like, at the cleric spawns, uh, like a wholesome character would still work with the court card there. Yeah, so yeah, too. and like, yeah, I mean, the diamond one is is the other one I have to do, and it's also interesting. Um, I could start with the court one and then do the diamond, um, because the the court card is more about something with me. So I'll do that. So it doesn't have to be with me either. Yeah, I know. Um, so I was actually going to ask folks if they if they had thoughts. Um, so what are the bonds with others in the fellowship? Uh, and I'm going to play this Joker, which is a court card we've decided. And it is they helped you in a crisis of fate. What caused it, and how did they help? Um, hmm. This could be honestly. This could be you, Jordan. This is pretty. This could be wholesome. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I wasn't thinking I was going to be a super religious guy. No, but it doesn't. Um, okay, so I could go to someone else, and I don't even think it needs to be religion. I think you can separate religion and faith, and like sure. I mean, it could be our faith in the rebellion too. Yeah, that's true. I guess. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah, because it just says a crisis of faith. That's true. It doesn't specify like that. Yeah, it... I have a kind of sad boy idea for it if you want. Oh no, not if you're gonna be sad about it. Forget it. Nope, you're gone. Uh next next who who else has <laughs> taking taking bids now for not <laughs> Well you get to pick, I think. So I think, that's, um, I think yeah. it's important that you pick. Okay. I'm gonna make you pick, Jess. I don't like this side. Um yeah. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Abraham. Uh, Abraham helped me with my crisis of faith. Oh, I helped you in the crisis of faith. Okay, yeah. I thought it was my sad boy was for the other way around. So I, yeah. uh, no. I rescind my sad boy. Ah, uh, see, it, to me it sounded hopeful, which is why I wanted to like sure. force it upon you. <laughs> I want to force this hope upon down. Take this hope. <laughs> I know you don't want it, <laughs> but I want. I want it. Happy things. Um, so they helped you in a crisis of faith. What caused it and how did they help? Uh, so like you said, it could be about the rebellion. It could be about like, what if, what if I just got tired of having to like live this double life uh, between like the, the church that had been so turned by the demon Lord and the resistance against uh, the demon Lord. And it was like, wouldn't it just wouldn't it just be easier? Wouldn't it just be easier for me to just go along and like stop fighting it? Just like mm -hmm. the tide is pulling me this way. Shouldn't I just let myself go out with the tide? Like. And then you saw like some of my older kids. Fighting making, fascists. <laughs> well, making pamphlets or, or organizing their Aww. own thing on their own. You yeah. know what I mean? And you're like. Maybe you're old. I don't know if you're an older character or whatever, but like, you know, like, okay, I got to do, do it for them, you know? Something like that. Yeah. Some of the kids came like running out of your shop all like happy and not downtrodden. <laughs> and like, 
um play fighting but, but instead like, of setting up setting up lemoning stands they're setting up like <laughs> you know info booths about uh, uh, okay. why the demon the demon lord is bad and yeah you know uh no it, you know what it was here i want to like i want to like <laughs> we're playing a role-playing game you guys well i mean storytelling and role-playing <laughs> But like, so they do the thing. I'm gonna say like three kids of varying kid sizes and shapes. Um, in the three sizes that kids come in, I understand. No, they come they in more shapes and sizes, but I'm a, there's a variety of three here. Three varietal mm -hmm. children. <laughs> mild, mild, medium, and spicy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> come running out of like your your harpoon harpoon fight fight club. Mm -hmm. And literally, they do that little kid thing where one of them's like, take this demon lord, and like hits one of the other one. You know what I mean? As like kids do. They're like, oh, why do I have to be the demon lord again? <laughs> like, yeah, we're going to show you, demon lord. You suck. <laughs> like, and they, they, they like play fight, but then they like, but then they also do that very nice thing. And they're like, no, sorry, you don't have to be. And they like lift the other kid up after they knocked him down. Sure. And they like pat him on the back and they clean him up and they're like, yeah, sorry, you can be, you can be the, you can be the anti-fascist this time. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, Timmy. <laughs> uh, oh. And so, yeah. <laughs> so I go over, I go over to see what they just came out of. And that's how I think I run into you in your shop. Okay. And you realize that uh, there's... What they, kind of sage advice would them. you give me about? Well, I, I are we gonna roleplay a scene? Is that what you want to do? I don't know. Okay. I just I just played out three children. If you beat that. if you should come in come in looking downtrodden, I would probably uh, and you know recognize that you um. Would you come in dressed in like the religious garbs? Is that the oh idea? yeah, I'm fully in my religious garbs. I am fully like like, and I'm thinking it's like drapey with big old sleeves. And there's like some like netting just for fun because we live in water world. Oh, um, it's definitely like pearlescent, <laughs> like as in it's like that sort of like sheeny ocean reflecty um of like inside a clamshell um that really nice sort of color ing and uh i think yeah i think i would like come in <laughs> like there's like that ding 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 yeah um and yeah i'm just like i would just like look around i think there would be if i had like i think the idea is is my place would probably be a shop of some kind and you know like a fish like a fishmonger shop mm -hmm, with the actual mm -hmm fighting thing on the dock behind and uh in the rooms above mm -hmm. but um i think on my old and i have some kind of old looking cash register i think there'd be a little thing that uh just a hand-drawn little sign that says uh we don't do it for us we do it for them it just says, oh. it, says it on there so maybe that's what you see oh is this um i just saw some little ones go running out of your shop and they seemed pretty excited that's right they're very interested in catching some fish they seemed interested in um other things as well well i i'm training them i'm teaching them how to catch some really big fish i'm like is there do we have a name like I keep just are we just continuously saying the demon lord? Um does the demon lord have a name? I like the idea that he we don't even understand what they are. Like mm. na they run things and they give gifts, but they they don't maybe even have a physical form so much. Hmm. They're just more like something that ins insinuates people like like when it needs to speak, it takes over somebody to talk through them briefly and then disappears again and has no particular face. <laughs> I feel um, like if something had like this much of an effect on like a society though that like people would call it something. Yeah. Sure. 
maybe like yeah. the depth or something. Yeah. It could be like to keep the demon, we could call it like the demon below. Mm. Mm. The demon beneath or the demon below, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we were already calling the rich fancy area the deeps because we were trying to come up with a, an equivalent of like, you know, the heights or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're up in the dumps. Well, what? <laughs> Damn it! I was literally. I'm feeling like, up in the. <gasps> I'm feeling real up at the dumps today. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, um, well, whatever you're teaching them, they all seemed happy and enthused and brave. Well, when you when all you have access to is tools, you gotta and you gotta fight. And that's what you got to use. It's an old family uh, proverb. Swing what you're holding, is what we say. You don't find that hard sometimes? You don't get tired of always swinging at anything? Tilting at windmills? No. What, what's a wind? No, we would have windmills. <laughs> we would, I imagine we'd have some windmills. Windmills, windmills work on the ocean. There's still air. <laughs> the is There's a better still question. Ocean. Water world doesn't mean no air world. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I just I go into work and I see some kid like you saw outside, and that's all it takes. I'm reinvigorated. They keep me young. You don't do it for you, you do it for them. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, my plan is to, well, you know, die for this. So the ones that are left or behind, they're the ones that are gonna, they're the ones that are gonna benefit from it and have to keep things up. That helps a lot. Thank you. I think that's good. I think I'm happy with that. Yeah. I think I think I got enough out of that that I. You don't want to role play buying fish. No, no, okay. no. I'm <laughs> happy. I can see. I can see where where they got their motivation from. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Minnow. Oh, okay. So we're doing like one at a time, twice. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna. If you could pull the four of spades out of my hand. You you are not appearing in my oh, yeah. roll twenty anymore. Oh. oh. Not appearing in this film. Twenty has been acting a little funky today. I'm still here on my end. Let me refresh. If we know you're pulling the see. four of spades. Yeah. If we know you're pulling a spade, we could just Yeah. Yeah, we can, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Oh, you're back again. Okay, cool. I just had I'll, to refresh. Uh, I'll steal it from you. Okay. Um, go ahead. I like stealing from the thief. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so this one is uh, they offered you true friendship. What did they do? And I'm gonna say that this is with Lien. Um, has offered me true friendship. I'm trying to think of what she did. I think maybe. She was the one who drafted Minnow into the revolution mm -hmm. and convinced Minnow to like fight for something more meaningful than another payday. Mm. Can I take a liberty and say I just straight I saw you straight up murk a dude and I was like, we need that person. <laughs> yes, I love that. You were like maybe about to like get rid of a, the witness. I'm like, no, 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 no need for that. Like, <laughs> it worked this out. Maybe. I like that. Yeah. yeah. I like this because Leanne is so like vocal and then Minnow is like not vocal but doing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so perfect. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. I, you know what? You you don't need to do these jobs anymore. I can I can I can I can take care of you and we can we can do some we we can do some actual good here. I think she just kind of nods. 
And like, I think she sticks out a hand kind of to shake on it. Mm -hmm. And, and Leanne will, will also like, will reach out and grab. And like, I think you see like that there is some like coral, like in, in like her arm and hand that like, kind of, uh, that, like kind of glows and pulsates with that same bioluminescent like fungi or uh, moss, whatever we decided. Yeah. And that's like a cool And I think from there it's a done deal. Mm -hmm. So All it right. looks like this this assassin and this demon king mage are making a deal, but no, we're we're gonna overthrow this shit. <laughs> Joining forces. Yeah. Okay, I think that kicks it over to you next, then yeah. Does let me see. I want to use. I am going to play my eight of hearts and just to make sure this goes all around, <laughs> Pearl, how did you fix my broken heart? I was looking for, what is this? This is Fix your the broken heart. Are. How? Oh, man. That's so. You need to dish on why it broke in the first place there. I yeah, that's a good. Yeah, because I need to know like, is your heart broken because of your family? No, yeah, that's what I was going. I was, I was yeah. thinking. Like, not romantic, but like just familial yeah. love. Yeah. Like, Leon's always been outspoken, always been a brat about this, this, this whole situation. But yeah. then, like they, they actually like did some heinous shit, and she was like, "No, nah, I can't. I can't just be like vocal. Like, there's got to be some action there. But like, also, there's that conflict we talked about earlier. It's like, uh, yeah. But if I, if we over, if we, if we commit to this overthrowing, like, no heads are gonna roll, and like, there's, it's not gonna be easy to say like, no, we could spare the mages who work for the demon lord and help oppress <laughs> you all. Like, nah." they're they're cool they'll we can we can we can uh we can reform we can, them we can change them yeah mm. generations were working for this demon and like oppressing y'all like yeah it's, that, that can be turned around like nothing mm. no historically like, speaking really easy yeah mm -hmm, mm. Mm -hmm, of course but no she's like trying she's coming to terms with like the fact that like no it, like she's committed herself to this cause but like that means like Dead family, as 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 vocal as she is about it, like actually. Yeah, that's actually still really tough, even though she's really vocal. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I think I would. I mean, I think I would connect with you over the fact of. You know, this feeling of like not, a part of you doesn't want to give up. Like in the same way that mm -hmm. I don't want to give up on my religion, mm -hmm. that I know there's something good there. You know, there is. There's good in your family. But they are doing bad. Yeah. Um, and like Listen, I think it's a good cop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's <sighs> even if they themselves haven't actively done anything bad, they are part of something very bad and they are complicit in something very yeah. bad. So that is still very bad. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> it is it is still very bad. So I think I think I would try and console you with a mix of like whatever family you find is is also family and that is also a valid form of family um if you're if your family has has like is doing these things it's not wrong of you to make the right choice here mm -hmm. and separate yourself from it but it's also not wrong of you to keep a small space open in your heart for if they do ever make a change. You know what I mean? Like it's it's they're they're not doing good and, and you can continue to be yourself. You can continue to be vocal and you don't know like if there's a possibility that they may never change. There is a possibility, but there's also a possibility that 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 even that even perhaps one of them ever comes to see the right way that you leave a small space open to be the one to help them 
to make that change, I think is 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 the small amount of hope I would encourage you to hold on to. So give them one chance before the guillotine. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, by the time you're walking to the guillotine, they might not be <laughs> actually changing so much as, yeah. you know, <laughs> but I mean, magic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what an under because a, a guillotine would not work underwater. It would. You would need to have some sort of alternative system. Unless it was propelled. Yeah, or like if mm. you yanked on it instead, but that yeah. Yeah, or it had little magic rockets on you, the side. It just gravity it wouldn't work. Just the, the It would drift it would drift. If, down. if it's like if it's a pulley system and there's like an anchor that you just drop. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that makes it's sense. Like, it's a, that it's is an the upward It's an upward. That's downward. exactly what I was gonna say. It's the, it's everything is the reverse underwater. <laughs> it's like a button tied to a bunch of balloons, and you like you need to pull it down to the bottom, <laughs> and it just goes straight up and slices through. Okay, it's a reverse guillotine. We are we are we are figuring out so many important things. Listen, sounds fishy to me, but I think we can. Mm. It. So. Oh, okay, wrong crowd. Uh, we got a trout in the engineering. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to choose between two. Um, the club or the diamond. And I like they fought alongside me. Um, mm. And I'm going to go with... I'm gonna make things interesting and say Minnow fought alongside me. I like that. So this could be more of a um, more recent events, perhaps. Uh, and it says, uh, "What were you fighting for?" Mm. So we were saying that Lian Lian uh, inducted you into the yes. So maybe you're the newest member. That would make sense, yeah. Yeah, and maybe I'm I'm one of the older members. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. or, or or me and Pearl uh, on different sides of it, uh, you know, mm -hmm. have been older. And then, yeah, okay. So uh, I would imagine I would imagine I would not trust you very much at the very beginning of things, because if your if you your story of uh, being an your history of being an assassin uh, for hire. Uh, got to me, um, uh, I would probably think a little less of you at first for that. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, but one, maybe one day, one of the kids went off on their own to try and do do something on their own. They they they're, they broke into a guardhouse or something and 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 got caught. And because all my characters are barrel chested chunky boys i'm not like a i'm not like a nimble i'm not like a nimble young person anymore and i can't i we need to bust him out and so i'm looking for i'm looking for leanne i'm looking for pearl and you're the only person available and i think begrudgingly i realize that you are going to be able to break into this cell and get this kid out way easier than i ever will be uh be able to and I, you know, I uh, would come over to you with my arms crossed. Maybe we, maybe we start using my fish, fish fighting uh, a place. Uh, um, my my fishmongers as as like a, a bay, like a, a base of operations for things. And uh, I would go over with my arms crossed, with a like a really worried look on my face, and I would say something like. One of my students um, took some initiative and then got themselves caught. Normally, I think I would get Lien to get uh, to magic their way out of there, but she doesn't seem to be around. So, do you want to do you want to go back to your Ely ways for a little bit and help me break this dumb kid out of out of the the guardhouse? Wouldn't be my first time busting someone out. Okay, well. Um, then I would begrudgingly, like, 
we I don't know if we take a boat there or whatever the situation is, we go yeah. right over to the thing. And then I think the way it would work out is that I would make uh, a distraction. I would just like be down in the front somewhere making a scene about mm -hmm. how someone playing the old man card, someone stole my stole my basket of trout or something like that. And <laughs> and they're trying to take notes and and you're you sneak up and grab the person out of there who's maybe not much not much younger than not much younger than you are. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. You do right by one of my kids and that's why we uh that's why we uh bond. Gotcha. One of Abe's I was gonna say Abe's babes, but but <laughs> that that's like the old school term of babe in the woods type, but it it only works as a rhyme and not as you could just go for idea. like Abe's babies, maybe. Abe's babies. <laughs> Maybe that's what their parents call them, or something like, or like that's what you 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 mockingly call them, Abe's babies. <laughs> um, maybe even just Abe's babies is fine. Um, we uh, take a break. I think that's the plan. Rather than doing the next round, because there's only um, sure. After that, there's basically after after we finish our bonds, we rise up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think is 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 what happens and also just because we are uh we are an hour and 45 minutes in sure. so there are kind of three there's the insight incitation and it's sort of three more rounds that are similar although we mm -hmm. get dealt four cards and we're going to answer each of these only once so it's it's the the second half is the same length as as the first so yeah Okay. So do we do we want to we finish one more round of bonds then? Or we can come back. We can start with the second round of bonds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, because we've been going for a little bit, y'all. So we're gonna take a quick break. Get up. Do a stretch. Uh, rehydrate. Um. So you should all do all those things too. We will see back. See you back here in a few minutes. Thank you so much for hanging out. We will see you soon. Hi everyone, we're back from break. How are y'all doing? I cannot even mention what was happening on break because another fight might break out. Uh, we definitely need to have a, a secondary discussion show after <laughs> for 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 all the opinions that are housed here. But in the meantime, <laughs> we need a giant <laughs> top hat. <laughs> That's when when the big demon is finally eliminated that's all he leaves behind <laughs> <laughs> the only way we know he was here yeah 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 okay that's his crown clearly yeah. <laughs> um perfect so let's we're back let's in it with a second yeah round of so we're gonna do we're gonna mm -hmm. finish off our bonds and then we're gonna get into rebelling that's the plan we gotta get yes we gotta sure. we gotta <laughs> we gotta get going got on it. this rebellion rebellion Let's get into the mix. So I already know. Um, so my my final card that I'm gonna do is my diamond. It's this one right here. So my option for bonds as the cleric with the diamond um, is uh, they confess their sin to you. Ask them what they confessed. Um, Corbin, how do you feel about this being Minno? I liked that. Yeah. <laughs> quite a bit. So what 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 do you need to confess to me, my child? <laughs> I hope um, you don't mind <laughs> me taking that liberty. <laughs> um I think confessing to greed. Mm. and to all the murders <laughs> okay are you confessing this because you actually feel bad about them or you like is there is there a play here or i think genuinely like i don't think she would have accepted leanne's offer to join mm. if she wasn't at least 
slightly convinced that she could do better. Hmm. I think before she just did it because she felt she didn't have any other choice. Okay. Even though she like knew that was like a lie she was telling herself. That's awesome. Did you feel did you feel like relieved afterwards? Do we, um do you trust me enough to continue like talking with me after after that? Like is this one of our first interactions was or did I you already probably, know me at that point? I think that I think maybe like they'd met in passing, but I feel like there was a point where Minnow asked, you know, like you know, I have things that I need to clear. Yeah. And like, you know, you're you're like this upstanding <laughs> like person of divinity. Yeah. I love that. Awesome. Okay. I think I'm now <laughs> have at least one bond with everyone now, I feel like ish. In one way, shape, or form. Next, who's next? Minnow, it's you. Oh, that's me. Okay. It's your turn. I'm going to... I should actually be able to play this one. Yes. Okay. Great. Nice. So, it is going to be a court card. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This <laughs> one is... Uh, someone took something of yours. <gasps> Did you get it back? And... I had this idea when I looked at that card of like, it started off as like probably something that a family member used to own. And that idea kind of took shape in my head that Minnow carries around her sister's knife. Mm -hmm. um, And her sister um, is like, not only in, her sister was a freedom fighter who like got locked up in maximum security uh after the first prison couldn't hold her and minnow does not know where she is um but minnow has her knife and i think minnow doesn't realize this but i think minnow knows that the knife is made out of coral but doesn't realize that it has magic in it (gasps) And so I think that it's possible that Lien might have taken it oh, yeah. for its magical properties, yeah. And maybe Minnow doesn't know that. Oh, it's yet. also magic, sure. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's also magic. That's, that's cool, too. <laughs> I mean, knife, give. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that there is a coral knife. It belongs to her sister who is missing, mm-hmm. and Lian has taken it mm-hmm. without Minnow knowing. Yep, 100%. <laughs> I love that. I think I keep it on my person too, because I'm just that kind of a little That's shit. bold. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Oh my god. What a dink. Yeah. <laughs> it's always she. It's got sideways. like a little cloth wrapped around the handle, but it's there. Oh my god! I think Minna won't recognize it unless it's drawn. Mm-hmm. That's everyone, what I'm too. everyone is thieving from the thief. Can I just? I know. <laughs> oh my goodness! The tables have turned. It, it literally wasn't my choice. It was too pretty of a knife to not take. Mm-hmm. 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 Like, the magic was, like, actually literally calling to you? Like, it was... Like a one true ring situation a little bit. (laughs) All right, so I have your knife. I've stolen it from you. Yes. It has a deep emotional, uh, sentimental value to you, but it also has a literal value to me. Yes. Mm. And Mm -hmm. I think I will play... Speaking of... I will play my Queen of Hearts for the court card. Ooh. And you know what? Abraham, you know the secrets of my magic. You know that our magic comes from the coral. 
but since the coral has been weakened, we, we've needed to feed the coral, and we keep the prisoners in the coral, including, including Minnow's sister. <gasps> oh, dang. That's wow. serious. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. And so I know this because you took, I assume, because you told me. Yeah. And it, it was just a, like a moment of feeling crappy about yourself. Is this, like, no, what, I think, I, mean? I think it was a moment of panic. And I let it slip. And then like, maybe mm. you, you like sort of interrogated it, not like violently, but like just pressed on that and wouldn't let it go. Maybe something like that. Uh, yeah, I, 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 maybe, um, Corvin, did Minnow tell, did you tell us about your sister? Maybe we all know her. I we all know her. don't think, I don't think Minnow's told anyone about her sister. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was thinking maybe she might be like someone that we actively know. Oh, that's true. If I, I did establish that she was a freedom fighter. I think that probably she's asked if any of them know where she is. Maybe we haven't made the connection yet or something. Mm-hmm. But but you bring up this you bring up this woman from time to time that you know that you miss or that you that you was an old friend or something. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I'm just thinking this might come off of a conversation that with with Minnow and Leanne, you you realize that that person is feeding the the coral down in down in the depths somewhere. I don't imagine they're like dead. They're just like there and like they're like sort of life force yeah. is feeding. Yeah. Into the coral. Yeah. It's kind of like. Coral just kind of absorbs the stuff around it, right? Until yeah. it doesn't really. They're like matrix it, batteries. It yeah, I was gonna say batteries. Yeah. I was gonna say the same thing too because we even talked about some of the property and some of the energy and magic of the coral was like the wards in the coral, but also the life of the coral. And mm-hmm. maybe since the coral is so harmed and the coral is so like, sure. um, like you know, like it's it's been corrupted, s- kind of. Yeah, corrupted mm-hmm. so much. That you have to keep those prisoners in the coral to like mm-hmm. makeshift give you the magic, which is yeah. so messed up, dude. <laughs> like force forcing the coral to eat these people as its only option, kind of thing, or like to drain to drain the energies from them. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, well, um, I would be incredibly mad about this. Uh, <laughs> I would just be out of my ma- mind mad uh, to hear that this is what's happening. Um, have I told anybody? <sighs> this is a big. This is a big one you've handed me. Mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. think that I would probably tell Pearl. <laughs> I think I would have told Pearl. What? <laughs> oh because, boy! Because spread the guilt. Mm-hmm. You, if we're like a little group or a little um, cell or whatever of this rebellion, um, I would know that. I would I would know that Lien was important to the to the cause, mm-hmm. and that I just wouldn't just toss them to the sharks uh, first chance that I got. But I would have to tell somebody. Mm-hmm. Who who do you who can you speak to if not your local your local? I, everyone's confessing to me. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard being the cleric. <laughs> so I imagine. I imagine our conversation is really short, Leon, and then I storm out to go to go find uh, Pearl. Does 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 Abe get close to violence, like on the cusp of violence when yeah. when he hears? It's, okay. the, it's the whole scene of like grabbing onto you and pushing you mm-hmm. up against the wall and being like, grab you by the lapels. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, like maybe you I, raise up the club, but like don't bring oof. it down. Yeah, I get, I get almost that close. Ooh, the mm-hmm. thing where you like smack it against the wall above them. Yeah, Ooh, for him, yes. just, the, just the side of your head. It's for yeah, him. like wham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I would say something like, "You're lucky. You're still of use." Oof. Oh, oh my God, my gut just like spicy. jumped. Which is miss. <laughs> Which is misdirected because obviously you're not the person putting them in the prison, but yeah. right now you're the you represent them. So, yeah. And then I would I would tell Pearl. Hmm. Okay. That's <laughs> spicy. I'm not the person <laughs> putting them in the prison. Okay. Oh well, maybe maybe you are, but yeah. Maybe not uh, anymore. I'm oh. not judge. 
I'm not judge, oh. jury, and executioner, unfortunately. Oh my god, is that why you're so vocal now? Is because you were part of it before? Yeah, oh I think so. no, so spice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going oh. with Diamond, and I was going to go with Leon with it. Uh, and I guess I still will. I, I, mm -hmm. I feel like this is interesting. Um, Leanne, you taught me an important life lesson. What was it? You know, this could happen. This maybe could have happened before. That's what I was going to ask. Like, yeah, did yeah, this yeah. happen before the conf the the sort of confession? Yeah. Uh, what did I teach you? About? What life lesson did I teach you? What life lessons does a punk ass <laughs> brat <laughs> have to teach? Yeah, this old wise man. Yeah, that's why I thought it was so interesting. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, if it could be something that colors colors are your later confession even more mm -hmm. you know hmm. tie it back into the kids somehow or the yeah. maybe i maybe as we get closer to the uh closer to the rebellion i start to get less i get more stern with them mm -hmm. for their own safety you know i'm like yeah i think you're getting like overprotective of them almost Sure, and, then... and, and maybe a little drill sergeant-y, uh, mm -hmm. like, and and it's not like it isn't me being mean to them in this in or yelling at them in the same same way as like drill, but more like uh, if you slip up, mm -hmm. if you slip up just once, mm -hmm. you know, so you have to keep training, you have to keep yeah. training, or they'll get you that kind of thing. It's so, not a malice; it's for their own protection. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm just really, really worried about them, and mm -hmm. every little mistake they make is is me imagining them you know, dying on the battlefield, uh, mm -hmm. the battle waves, I guess, in Waterworld. Um, <laughs> we'll workshop that one. So I don't know. I, I, I battle deck. A, yeah. The battle deck, yeah. That's Battleship. Oh, there we go. It was there we go. Right there. There. <laughs> Corbin coming in clutch. So I don't know. I, I'll set that up and then maybe... Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I think... I think like um, like maybe during some of a downtime after having seen that that uh, that Leanne invites you to like relax and sit down and like play like some sort of future version of chess something like that, and then like maybe she beats you a couple of rounds and because you're too protective of your pieces, but she throws hers out like she will like mm -hmm. get rid of pawns like they're not there's no tomorrow but she wins ultimately in a couple of rounds and like not like vocally saying it but like sort of just trying to show you like. Sometimes you gotta just let them go. Like for the for the end game, like you gotta you, you're gonna lose pawns. And oh, that's the life lesson you give me. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, that 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 would color our later conversation because mm -hmm. apparently. <laughs> because Dang. I'm sacrificing people for the yeah. For like, <laughs> I've got I've got some means to my ends. <laughs> yeah. 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 So instead of instead of me being like, mm -hmm. uh, you're you're lucky you're useful. It's um, I'd be some kind of like sarcastic. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're consistent. Cute. Something like that. <laughs> oh man. Um. Let's just turn into my Blades in the Dark games. Not the <laughs> not, not the not the faculty, not the new but one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, not boffers and libraries. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Buffers>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, now and we, books. There as that go. is our as our last bond, we go into our um we go into our rising up phase. And uh, so everyone can discard the last card just to like a discard pile maybe over here, just out of the way, and I'm gonna deal four more cards to each Oop. of you. Oh, I don't know. Let me there we go. Go away. Get out of here. Okay. Deal. Four cards. Rising up. Listen, if y'all saw that tweet I put out earlier, I included a quote from from uh, W. H. Arthur's game, and it's from the part right before we start rising up. It's our souls burn with the desire for freedom and justice. It's time. I love that. Ah, uh, it's time to rise up. Uh, so in the next but part of our on both sides. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna play a pull of both sides card. 
Mm. Um, in the what next part just of our... against Lien is what I'm implying. <laughs> like being, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For her crimes. Um, in the next part of our story, we ask, what incited our characters to revolt? What are the weapons? What are our weapons against the Demon King? And what are their, our greatest obstacles? Um, so these are three card choices, one card choice for each of these questions to answer them. Um, so we'll start with the incitation and we'll take um, we'll take turns just like we did before. We each draw four cards to rise up and fight back. But first is our incitation, uh, the righteous rage that binds us together. Okay. Yeah, my document. Okay. Move four. I just realized my my enemy is deception, but that's all I'm doing. So I'm just a huge hypocrite, ah, which makes sense for oh, a bratty little jerk. Right. You made me. What is my? What was my name? Heart. Enemy's hatred. Right, 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 right. Okay. That's right. I hate hatred. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's a yeah. That's a snake eating its own tail, isn't it? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> so like, the fighter who hates violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're all they're all very good. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh, oof! Oh my god, these are rough. Um. Uh, I think I picked that one. So this is from our new hand, right? Yes. What are my options here? What are my options? Uh, I have three options. It's more than the two options I had last <laughs> time. So that's um, that's good. No, well, no. Two options Still just well. two options, actually. No, no. I have all. I can actually choose all three. You can I choose have all yours. One option. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is only one right path for you. Uh, amazing. Um... If y'all want a moment to think about yours, I have mine right away. I've already sure go for it. Mine. I'm down. So I'm going to play my king as the court card, the face card. No, wait, shit, no, that's wrong. Uh, oh, you should be able to pick it up. You spoke truth in your hearing. Yeah. Uh, court government fucking. No, that works. Government propaganda claims that citizens welcome the demon king with open arms. What actually happened? I think that's true. Mm. I, I think as soon as like the barrier fell, uh, like the people who are now like in the inner circles were mm -hmm. all the ones that are like, nope, yeah, like we capitulate, we, you win, we take over, and whatever you say, and like we will call down the, we will call down whatever like military forces we have. Like the mages won't resist at all and things like that. So like they, they were totally like no. Nah. Like we see that we, in in their opinion, like we see that there's no point in fighting. So we will we will take the the life on knees instead of the, the uh, floating, uh, face the down. Tra the tragedy of the of the propaganda is that it's all true. Mm -hmm. Wow. Dang. The propaganda makes it seem like oh, like they were they were so wise and things like that, but it was more out of like fear and like and just not, there was like no compromises to be had. It was just total surrender. Is this uh, is this something that you didn't realize right away? Is this is supposed to be sort of what incites us, right? So is this something mm -hmm. that pushes you over uh, and pushes you in a certain direction ultimately, or I were think... you aware of this? I think I was aware, but I wasn't aware of the propaganda posing it another way, and seeing that the that that the the story that was going around was not true to the actual story. That like because uh, like being from a long line of mages that served the Demon King, like I, my family knows what happened, and like we, they like they'll talk about it openly. But like mm -hmm, the right. propaganda says it a whole different story, and like seeing that it's like that hypocrisy is like nah, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, is it like back in your home? Like, people talk about it proudly, though. They're all like, "Yeah, we side with him right away. We knew this was the right way." Like, mm -hmm. and look, look how well it turned out. Yes. Yeah, we survived. We survived mm -hmm. this darkness. Yeah. Okay. Before yeah. we were all equals, but now we thrive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oof. Ouch. 
Okay. Ruth Stoof. Oof, Stoof. Are you, are you ready, Jess? Yeah, yeah, I'll do mine, I'll do mine, I'll do mine. Hang on, chill out, give me a second. Uh, <laughs> I'll play this king. I've had multiple, look at my, look at my line. I'm very consistent in what I am playing across this card uh, line. The king. Um, so the court card for the cleric is citizens injured by city guards and mobsters are coming to you for healing. How does that make you feel? Um, like that. It, I think. I think it just strengthens my resolve that, like, as as hard as it is for me to be like two faced in the church, like the fact that so many the citizens are being harmed on all sides by so many different people and in so many different ways the the like this like the citizenry of the city needs help they are in such a shitty situation like it is bullshit <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> it is boat shit um it is it's no good <laughs> I don't imagine we have any bulls any on, um, on Water City, but um, manatees, sea cows. That's it's, man it's manatee shit. I was going to say, it's manatee. It's because manatees are sea cows, right? So that's the no. closest thing. Um, you know, I think male manatees might be called bulls. They're so called bulls. Can... Yeah. So, there we go. We're back around to bullshit. So. We're back around to bullshit, but it's manatee bulls. Yeah. That's our water, the water cow equivalent. <laughs> I mean, we drink manatee milk. Yep. All right. I think I saw that in like one of the last Star Wars, right? I was just, I was just about to make a reference to that. <laughs> you two are too in tune. It's like <laughs> yeah, Kevin and I have to hang out. Apparently, Drift I'm, compatibility. I'm mm -hmm. God. <laughs> I'm already working on your layout for your new show. God, jeez. <laughs> like, you know, calm down. I'm working you're on. Enti you're entitled to your opinions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <The show>. It's <laughs> just. <laughs> It's just you two arguing and then having guests on to argue. That's the whole show. Yeah, occasionally Kevin and I are on the same side. And against, against the guests. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway. But, yeah. Sorry. So, no, 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 you're totally fine. Uh, how does that make you feel? I guess I think it, it literally just strengthens my resolve and just... I try and keep um, some hope in, in the citizens. Like, I know it's so dark and, like, everyone is... Literally everyone is out to get you, and like it, like there's 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 so much bad happening, but we just have to persevere because this is not how it's supposed to be. Like that's do uh, uh -huh. you do you eventually like leave the church to go all in with the rebellion at this point? Because I I wonder if it's not more useful me to, for me to stay with the church to like I guess maybe well because Leanne you did you split all ties from your family or can you still get inside info from your family? I think I I I I am obligated to attend like certain functions. Okay. It, but I I do not have like a congenial relationship with them. But I would I, I would also encourage encourage uh, Pearl to maintain that relationship because yeah. having having an insight on on the church who like yeah. who propaganda who propaganda for the demon king for the the establishment and everything like having more people on the inside is very helpful when the time comes to, to yeah do the do yeah I think I think we need to have that and I I think this like strengthens my resolve is to like it's like I said. I think it's really hard for Pearl to be two faced and like, but like, mm -hmm. I think this strengthens their resolve that they like have to, they have to do a good job to, so that they can even possibly move up the ranks in the church to get better information for the rebellion. Yep. That's me. Oh. Right, Minnow's turn. Yes. So only one choice. I know. <laughs> um, so all of my cards are hearts or diamonds, which are lumped together as others in the spades mm -hmm. uh, toolkit. Mm -hmm. um, my 
browser that enabled me for one sweet second to drag my cards has crashed. <laughs> um, All right. Oh, because... you're not in the you're not in the thing again. Too. Yeah, that's okay. That's you just that's cool. Yeah, just just let us know yeah, and we'll yeah. the problem. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let me see. Let me just refresh. Um, so in any case, it can be any card. The prompt is always going to be the same. Uh, so I will uh, start. The prompt is someone you once respected is now on the Demon King's payroll. Who are they? Um, my first thought was of this character who kind of, I guess in some ways, is like a foil to Abraham. Um, I think that like Minnow and her sister, as well as like a handful of other uh, kids who like kind of wound up without like family ties or anything. I think that they were taken in by this matriarch who taught them the criminal arts. Um, kind of and, a Fagin, Fagin type or? Yeah, type. yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And I think that she wound up uh, accumulating a lot of money because she's not a bad thief. Um, and as a result, she got close to power. She got close to the Demon King, and now she's on its side. Interesting. Uh Yeah, I think that makes sense. That there is there uh, that that Abraham has been fighting a little street gang war where I I give the kids safe place and this woman would corrupt them and turn them awful, um, and so yeah, it hates them. Uh, it also gives us another indirect connection. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, fun. and and there's it's a PC NPC triangle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe like winning you over to our side was a bit of a victory for me, um, since you were so far gone into this, into the matron's, you know, clutches. Uh, <laughs> um, so I can pick any of mine, and there is a couple that make a lot of sense. Um, one, you learned of the Demon King's plan to attack the citizens, uh, which I did Ooh. in the previous, in our bonds, quote unquote bonds. Um, <laughs> not all also, bonds are citizens strong are, or good. are being hurt by the minions of the demon king how does that make you angry those ones are very obvious um although how did i respond would be an interesting story the last mm -hmm. one is someone you love was murdered by the regime who was it and were you there oh, and i think no. honestly i'm mad about everything else already i think that was that would be something that pushed me over is losing one of the kids <laughs> Ooh. I know it's sad boy. I know it's sad oh. boy, but this is this is these are tough times. Uh it makes so, sense. So I think I think the maybe to, for to make it sort of a, a circle that the damn idiot kid that we broke out that Minnow and I broke out of the mm. thing. Um just I'm going to say that their their parents got taken away from them when you know and, and something really bad happened to them and this kid has been like itching for a fight uh just like has, has been, had wanted nothing to tear down but to tear down the things that put them in this put them in the situation they're in and uh so it says who was it and were you there i'm gonna say it's that kid and um i <laughs> What's more tragic, me being there or not being there? I'm just just finding out about it afterwards seems to be not the being most. there. They they lost their parents and now they're alone when, in the end. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna yeah. press pause. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna press pause on this, and then I'm gonna direct everyone over to the Zoom chat for a second. Um. I'm okay. yeah. I'm gonna say some. The, the, their their uh, parents were taken. Okay. I I, I mean I, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I don't think this kid would op have opened up to me about the details anyway. Um, okay. Something 
he lost them in whatever meaning of the word is for, for them. And some, some, uh, the, 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 the regime took them, uh, took something from him. And he's been training with me since he was 11. And he's always been like, when do we get to kill the fascists? Like, when, uh. I'm tired of stabbing the dummies. I'm tired of, of, uh, you know, shooting at, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say hay bales, but I I, I don't I guess we that's what we kelp. feed the sea cows. Uh, yeah, kelp, kelp, kelp bales. bales. Yeah, kelp um, bales. <laughs> yeah, and he he he's got they've gotten themselves in trouble over and over again, and the this one time uh, we have some kind of argument. Uh, he's they're like we need to act now, and I I'm like no, uh, you know we're waiting for the right time. And this kid just goes and gets himself killed. And I think I find out afterwards, I find out afterwards, not because I, not because I was there, but because he just doesn't show up. Like he's supposed to show up for the, for the next day's training. Oh no, oh. he just doesn't show up. Oh, yeah. no. So there's a, there's that sad scene where all the kids are like coming in and I'm counting their heads and, and like a lot of the old, a lot of the kids, older kids, maybe work the dock with me as well. And uh, he was supposed to come in early to pull in, pull in the cages or whatever you call them, the traps. And uh, he didn't. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say I never find out what ha what happened to him. And that sends me into the final, the finals, the final uh, rebellion. Oh, jeez. Woof. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, it is. I'm not. Like, that's the thing right. is, it's freaking good. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, <laughs> I'm over here and I'm not surprised. I know you wanted. I know you wanted a nice rebellion. Yeah, but... I, I, I knew you wouldn't be. No, I knew you wouldn't be able to do not. A, it's fine. I, I never expected you to. <laughs> Jesus. To do a happy character, you paint, you it's paint. impossible. <laughs> Paint this picture of me. Um, do you options... do you want to show everyone the sticker on your notebook? Well, that's sad boy. Yeah, it's a sad <laughs> one. But... It's my, my characters entire, have emotions. It's your whole entire being. <laughs> anyway, that's me. <laughs> Ruined everyone's day. Uh, so now we now we go on. We've all taken our turn on this one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next thing of rising up is we raise our arms and revolt. Um, and this is where we get to describe our weapons, what we use mm. to fight. Um, uh, yeah, so Jess, you want to go first with Pearl? Yeah, I only have one option here. So <laughs> I just, I let me just double check something real quick. I think mine continue like that. Yeah, it's all like that because uh, it's, it's whatever your suit is and then the court suit and then all the other suits. Is how they how they are determined. So I didn't get any of my suit. I only got one court suit. So it doesn't matter which one I throw out at this point. I'm gonna throw out two of diamonds because it don't matter. And then I'm gonna read. I didn't even read what it says. Let's see. Let's see what I'm doing. Um. Oh, my weapons is my my prayers and blessings. How do they help your allies? So um, I think this is like obviously I'm not. Oh no. Oh, eh. Ah, you back? <laughs> yes. I just had a quick little. Okay. Okay, we're good. Um, so in this universe, thoughts and prayers work. Oh, <laughs> no, not everyone's thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Listen, I don't. <laughs> How dare? <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I think it's like a very rarely used. I mean, we did say that like the. The church, the church and like was connected to the original old ones or the the ones that like some of the first changed people of our of our of our of our lands of we don't have lands of our seas <laughs> of our of our city. Um, some of the very first changed people that first had um, magics and connected with the corals and did the wards and everything like that. The church is connected to that. The mages then like freaking refined it into like magic, <laughs> like. <laughs> um, but we still have that connection, so I don't think it's often used, and I don't think, um, 
I don't think you're even supposed to necessarily learn a lot of it in the church, but because I am still like a believer of the old ways, I think the church has been thoroughly corrupted by the demon lord to to mostly just um like warped the religion entirely to be more about him and his ways, right? Like stuff like that. Um but I'm still connected to the the old ones ways. So I think I literally am trying to call up on the the old ones to assist us and <sighs> How does it look? Gosh, um, I think I think it looks like um, protective wards around all of you. I think I'm able to do, um, you know, to to literally have a um, a physical uh, to care for those I care for. Um, I think I can do minor shielding and minor healing. I don't think I can do anything like big. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything big or like long lasting. I think it's all very like short um, and it's not much practice. So it's not refined at all. Because um, we're definitely not supposed to do it. So. Sort of a wild, it's a wild magic that's. Uh, yeah, mystical. it's like, yeah, it's like a wild ocean magic, I guess. Nice. All right, <laughs> Minnow. Okay, so I've got another others here. Um, and the prompt for that is that my weapons are my charm and wit. Um, I think. I, I, I was interested by the idea of, so obviously after working as an assassin, um, she knows a lot of people who know that she is reliable and willing to go to just about any length. And I think she is calling in favors from people who she's helped before and calling on them to join in the fight. And so I think she's leading um this band of people who already have no qualms about <laughs> murder like that yeah leadership is good and lien Lien, Lien's weapons are a violent and chaotic spell what collateral damage what is the collateral damage so far so I think considering that like the mages were like bio or like sort of eco eco mm. eco like eco the churches eco churches <laughs> whatever uh like she like yeah, she summons she, yeah yeah exactly <laughs> like you know where I'm going she like summons like some sea creatures to fight so she gets like some fucking mm. sharks she gets some fucking octopus and squids <laughs> to like just go nuts and like grab people off the edges and like just bite people in half ripping like parts of the the flotilla apart to get to the to the to the opposing forces and then like they're they're animalia so like they they can't tell like friend from foe so like some of our people get taken down too so but like <laughs> the majority is aimed at the other side so oh dang <laughs> at like least... a feeding frenzy spell kind of like mm -hmm. yeah exactly mm -hmm. at least our our folks have like warning they know you're gonna do this like <laughs> <laughs> okay fine <laughs> i mean it is collateral damage uh, oh my god violent and chaotic yeah oh my goodness and leanne is all is like was talking about like sacrificing pawns before that's true yeah if if if, if the other side senses that they're hesitating and like pulling back they're not gonna they're not gonna go in and yeah. wow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay 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 um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play to type and play a club, um, <laughs> which I've actually only played two so far. But uh, um, when the f when it comes time to fight, Abraham um, goes out to the end of the dock where there has been this rusted out um, 
crank, basically, with just a rope that goes down into the water that everyone has just assumed that it was like an old trap crank that has just been out of, he's, and no one's ever seen anyone, him use it or anybody use it. And he spends the better part of a day, probably like eight or nine hours, just cranking up the, the rope. And he pulls out of the depths a, a sea battered pipe wrench uh, that um, is, was used to repair the, the very first ship that built the flotilla. Wow. So my uh, my weapon is a weapon is passed down from generation to generation. Describe your weapon and its legacy. But I wanted to have a little bit of that sea magic. So as I pull it out of the water, it's been and, and basically I've been it's been stewing down there at the bottom of the of uh, bottom of the reef in the water and, and and in the salt and in the muck. And when I pull it up, it's got um, barn. It's like covered in barnacles that have like hardened and things. And the the uh, the magic of the sea kind of like pulses the light that matches the lighthouse and all, all the other magics kind of pulses through it. And that, I mean, the thing is huge. It's, it's, for, it's for pipes, you know, that are a foot across and uh, yeah. And this is just something my, and my, my family wasn't always fishermen. Uh, a lot of them started as engineers and, and that type of thing. And this is just something that I've been, that my father gave me and I've just been keeping, uh, no, my mom gave, gave it to me and she, um, yeah, she was one of the last people to kind of keep up the engineering, uh, the, like the repair in a traditional sense before we moved on to the magical way of repairing things. And so she handed this down to me and I just kept it in Canada, we will put our beers onto ropes and put them down into the river, into the lake to keep them cold. Uh, it's the exact same thing, except it's a murder wrench. Uh, yeah, so that's what I've got. It's a massive pipe wrench that repaired the first ships in the flotilla. Damn. You get to control sharks. I had so I need to have something. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay. The last stage, the second last stage of this is the obstacles we face. This is what we get to fight, and then we uh, get to flip cards to determine how well we do in this last battle, and that determines the uh, the finale. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, our cleric. Yep, yep. And once again, I only have one option, so I have to take it. So I'll just. You, you were the one that was excited about the heart of the cards there, Jess. Oh, dang. I know. I was like, let's <laughs> let the cards decide. And the cards keep doing this to me. So, um, uh, the obstacles we face, from my perspective, are the cultists who worship the demon king. What makes them dangerous? So, uh, I think, I think, like, um, I uncover within the church uh a section of the church that is so far gone uh from what it originally was into um a small sect um of like a full-blown cult of the demon king um and they have taken and the same way the demon king has taken and corrupted like the magic and and the city and all of that stuff this cult seeks to corrupt the what magic we used to have and what knowledge we had of the old ones and everything like that um and so i think that they i think we see them kind of for the first time um in the same way that the demon lord has like sapped the life from stuff. We literally watch as they like sap the life from like people. Like they just fully and it draws out like a darkness, like a like a long, like almost like it starts almost like a tentacle as they like pull it and it like squirms and they just like with one final like yank, the person just falls. Ugh. Yeah. So that's an obstacle. 
Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, a lot of these Ooh. cultists are probably your old friends. Yes. Well, so, like I definitely know some of them. Like I definitely. Huh. And they definitely like, yeah, they're just too far gone at this point. Like I prob I probably try and speak to like one or two of them. And they're just so far gone. Cool. Mm hmm mm hmm You summon the powers of the old ones. You've got you fought cultists. That's a Jordan character. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm honestly on an avatar kick, so that's all I'm imagining is like yeah. benders. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a shadowy bit shadow bender shadow benders yeah um, all right minnow what obstacle do you face um so mine once again the beautiful singular option uh <laughs> the obstacle i face is the head of the thieves guild mm -hmm. and the question is how did uh this once honor what happened to the once honorable organization and i think when Minna was a member of the Thieves Guild, um, before she took the freelancing path, as it were, <laughs> um, I think at first the Thieves Guild was steal from the rich, give to the poor. Um, and then over the time, it was steal from the rich, keep a little bit. Um, and then it became be the rich, steal from other rich. Um, and that was about the time when she bailed. Um, and then they have at this point become be the rich, steal from the poor. Mm. That is rough. Makes yeah. Sense. I appreciate any game that has an honorable thieves guild. Mm -hmm. Very whenever I, whenever I build whenever I build worlds and cities and things, the thieves guild is always like a government institution because they're going to steal. You may as well just let them steal a little bit mm -hmm. and, and just have it part of the redistribution. Then you can tax it. Then you can tax it. Exactly. They're going to do it. So, All right. Our mage's turn, I think. Yes. Uh, yes. I, let me see. I have two options. Is it an oh. amorous wizard? <laughs> I Not wanted it. I want it, but I don't have the card for it. <laughs> It says amoral, but I, I read it as amorous. <laughs> the wizard would have been so much better, but now I deal with angry mobs. Angry mob. <laughs> what lies? What lies does the regime make them believe? The lies a lot that the regime makes them believe. They make them believe. They the regime makes them turn this into like, I mean, it is a class war, but like this, it make them they make it like a class war, like that they're just coming like these these poor folks are just coming for the rich and like they want to take what you have and like kill all the rich and like get rid of them instead of like actually having just equity and fair shares mm -hmm. like yeah there's gonna be blood but like the end goal is equity among all people not just to to turn the shit upside down and like have the, the rich be poor and the poor be rich yeah and I'm going to try and redeem my sad boy story. Um, <laughs> took a little dip in the middle there, I, I will admit. And I'm going to, I, strangely enough, I'm going to play my first court card of the, and, and last card of the game. Um, my, and I'm going to kind of make the meaning, make the, the description here fit our, our story a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, a Medusa that turns citizens into stone statues. Name someone you know who was petrified and is the process reversible. So I think in these batteries that, where they put people, um, they kind of get all of their, they get desiccated in, in the sense of, you know, like they're slowly dried out um, and, and become almost calcified, I guess, like salt. And um, all that's left is their salts. And uh, it leaves them as these kind of fragile, they're still sort of alive, but they're just these fragile, dry husks of what they once were. And I am going to say that it is reversible. Mm. And the person I know who was petrified was the kid that I lost. <gasps> he got, they got black bagged and dragged off um, for, for his little, uh, their little indiscretions against the state. And um, I find out that he's, I find out that they're in there. And 
I'm going to I'm going to wrench his way <laughs> wrench their way out of there. That's my plan. Fuck yeah. I imagine the, yeah, people sort of turning into that when when coral yeah dies, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like when coral dies, that's what happens to them. Yeah, it's Petri- like a tree like there's like petrified trees and there's like petrified coral. Exactly, yeah. But it is reversible. I don't know what the science of that would be. Or the magic. Ma- yeah, magic it's, it's magic, magic water of some kind. But I'll I'll bring it on back. It's a saline solution. That that fixes everything. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Um that we all have our um the scene is set. Now we uh the horrible night of battle was over and the light was on pierced the darkness. You are alive for now. Did we win? What happens next? So we're gonna draw cards from the deck. Uh we could discard our last cards. Um to our discard pile. Discard pile. Ever so slightly Which... off screen. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> I need to tidy up because that's how I am. Um, the number of cards that we draw is going to depend on yeah, what things. we do here. Yeah. So one by one, we draw cards. By default, we draw one. Uh, and then you go around the table and ask if the other players have your back. During oh, the fight. yeah. I forgot about mm. this part. This is so cool. You draw an extra yep. card for each yes. If you decide not to support anyone, you get two bonus cards. But you but have then... to just say no to everybody who comes up, uh, ahead of you to get those two bonus. So if everyone helps you, you get three bonus cards, but you can also go it alone and get two. And uh, if you go it alone, you still get the bonus cards from people who help you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because selfish, w- shel- sel- shellfish, wins. <laughs> shellfish. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> um, Amazing. And then you choose a single card from your new hand, yeah. and that determines your fate. Okay. Pretty deeply. Okay. The best result is getting a card of your own suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna pull some first, right? Yes. Okay. So well, first, don't don't draw a card. I guess oh I guess you look at the card first and then uh that's yeah, you can look at that first card and then ask decide if you're gonna ask for help. That's in, that's interesting. Mm, but equally draw one card, go around the table and ask if other players had your back during the battle. No, I wanna know if other people had my back during the battle. <laughs> Well, who are you going to ask first? Uh, I ask in order. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Does that make sense to do? I don't know. Mino, do Maybe you have my back in wanna... battle? I think... You can say no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably going to be no from <laughs> Mino. <laughs> wow. That's fair. Okay. All right. Leanne, do you have my back? I have your back. Yay! <laughs> Uh, Abraham? The bourgeoisie have to stick together. <laughs> I am already swinging what I'm holding. You're such a... Oh, my God. Wow. No, wow. I'm helping. Oh. oh, that was not clear. You have to understand Sorry. that. No, no that seems like to totally say. different. Actually, yeah. I've been thinking about it. I think it makes sense for Minnow to help. I think that, like, Minnow believes in Pearl. What I what I was trying to say was that I'm already by your side, swinging oh, my wrench. Oh, that was not <laughs> clear. You made it sound like this sad no. sad boy thing, and that you went off on your own to like. Mm-hmm. I'm very close to throwing Leanne off of a off of a. Uh, <laughs> off of no, gear. that's what I was gonna say. Like Leanne is the one who would say no, yeah. but then she didn't. <laughs> She's the girl. But yeah. then y'all are just. It seemed at first like y'all are just like fuck this. Like yeah, yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't believe no, no. that Leanne was the only one to help me for a second there. <laughs> Oh I'm my gonna, god. Yeah. Okay. So I have two two helps? Three, or three? Uh, three helps. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, okay. Minute jumps in. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna drop four cards. One, so. two. We get the fake out from Minnow. Like it looks like they leave, but then they Oh, I, oh I th- maybe you thought you could draw them to your hand, but because yeah, we'll it, just do it all at out. the end. One, two, okay. three, four. <gasps> I got one! <gasps> I just barely got that heart. Oh my like, gosh. I'm like, give me, I'm like, where's the heart? Okay, so um, if you play a number card of your own suit, uh, you overcome the obstacle. The Demon King's grip on the city has uh, loosened, but the revolution goes on. Do you feel weary or triumphant? Do we wait until everyone's all together to do these, or do I answer personally? I think so. Yeah, I, I, thought, every, I, I, I thought everyone would oh, draw okay. cards, and then okay. we would mm-hmm. take turns playing one card from our hand. Oh, gotcha. I see, I see. Sorry about that. Okay. No, no, it's okay. I mean, you, got the ace, you got the ace of hearts, too. So, like, yeah, I'm going to yeah. leave it up. I'm just going to leave it up there. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Who's next? Okay. 
I'm next. Um, so who wants to help me beat up the Thieves Guild? I'm gonna say I'm gonna help almost everybody. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Like literally, I de I determined <laughs> yeah. that my magic is literally shields and healing, which only works if there are people there. So because Leanne, are you in or out? Uh, She's in. Like in for selfish reasons, because she knows if she helps y'all, like she's safer in a group. <laughs> like, yeah, that's true. So we're like, we're we're doing that thing where we go off and we're like, we'll all defeat your enemy now. Okay, let's all work <laughs> off. And... <laughs> yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh no. Oh no. no. Don't say anything yet. Don't yeah. Say anything sorry. Yet. Sorry. Sorry that I. Oh, no, that's okay. Okay. no, no. I like I like uh, a little bit of mystery there. Okay. Yeah. No, it's better Although, to. Your poker face is awful for. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a fair critique. Note taken. Did you draw the rules for stud poker card? Because it's, it's not even <laughs> uh, Okay. Le okay, Leanne. Uh, let's see. Pearl, do you help Leanne? In the back? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. I would like to mention a, a detail that I had before, but I had not mentioned that that Leanne is using um, is using Minnow's sister's knife, ah, knife I was to cut her hand and like spread blood to draw in the fish. And I think I think if we're sticking together, Minnow sees this. Oh, so for sure. This, does Minnow help? Uh, I think hell no. I think Minnow does not oh! help. Fuck yeah. There you go. And I, I love that. This. Abe, do you help Flynn? Oh. As as soon as I would have witnessed your reckless use of the the wild uh -huh. like tearing apart people on our own sides carelessly. Uh-huh. No. Whatever you oh. were up against, I would think that you would have to figure it out on your own. I can't I love this, because that makes me more moral than both of y'all. Uh. <laughs> I helped y'all. Uh, I mean, me. you you clearly stated that you were helping for selfish reasons. Yeah, but I can spin that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So you get you got one, one guard. Okay. You only get one guard. Oh wait. Yep. Did no, I helped. Probably, I helped you. Yeah, you get yeah, two. Oh, it's one more. One, fresh, one okay. bonus card. Yeah. You, gotcha. So you, you get to pull two. Okay. Hi everyone, I just want to say really quickly, welcome, welcome in Raiders. Hi everyone from over at Board Game House. Uh, welcome, What's welcome. Up? You have caught us at the end of a rebellion. We are all rising up right now against the Demon King. We are all determining at this point in time if we are helping one another. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, uh, Kevin's character, Leanne, just got, just, mm, just had a lot of people bail on her right in the midst of the rebellion. So yeah, this is a wonderful game called The Steadfast and the Rebellious, um, in which you all kind of build up a city together and then and then rebel against the demon lord who has taken over it. Um, so yeah, you've caught us right at the tail end of the of the rebellion. So welcome, welcome on in. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Please feel free to sit, chill, chat, lurk, ask questions, be involved. Or just, or just chill. Whatever you like. We're cool with that. Okay. So now it's me. I'm extra yep. sad that I ruined the surprise of mine now. I'm like, dang it, I really messed <laughs> it. I really messed it up. I can take your cards back and redeal you for it. No. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you could, I just, I don't, I don't. Do we have enough cards left at that point? With... Uh, I, I think so. Enough too. I, yeah. I think we should just keep going. Yeah, you can just keep okay. going. The cards point, have honestly. spoken. Yeah, okay. It's, it's up to you. Um, the first person I would come to would be Minnow, because my goal is to rescue the person that we have rescued one, once before, at least. I think before. Minnow's definitely going to help, um, not even knowing ahead of time that her sister is also there. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, cool. Good. I would just assume Pearl would help me. Yep. But... <laughs> That's what Pearl does. And I'm going to give Leanne one shot at why why I could trust her in this one thing. Oh, or you want to accept me. Leanne's help? <laughs> hmm? are, you, are, you, are, you, are you just going to deny Leanne's help if she, if she offers? No. You, gotta, you have yeah. to turn me. I'm role-playing Abe right now. I want to okay, hear. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm Abe now, and I 
<laughs> we, we obviously we're planning out all of our various attacks and uh, plans uh, to execute them all. We're probably like and, in between waves, something like that. Like, yeah. And I'm coming. I come around to you, and I say, "What use are you going to be?" It's been nothing but carnage up until now. Without me, you don't have the numbers to take them on. I've got, I've got the, the best healer on this side of the flotilla, and I've got the sneakiest damn assassin and break-in, break-out artist that I would ever need. With an entire gang backing Within her it, up. There's also that. Plus all, all the children I trained to be violent murderers. <laughs> <laughs> and so they have you, mobs you and they have that. cultists and they have the assassins guilds and what? I have the sea <laughs> we're gonna go this without you Ooh. wow oh it's, my god I, I, I can't be around I can't bring you around and have you hurt a bunch of a bunch of innocent people Oh my like you God. did. I, it, it, you're a liability. I will draw three cards. Wow! Oh my God. <sighs> okay. It's time, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. It's got Ooh. spicy fast. <laughs> it got so spicy. <laughs> I love this animosity mm -hmm. this, the whole time, the whole time. You gotta oh. have conflict. You gotta yeah. have a little conflict. Oh my God. Cool. For all the people that have joined late, this totally undeserved one-sided <laughs> animosity. <laughs> yes. From Abe to yeah. Leanne. The new people uh, didn't get to see all of the things that Leanne did or hear all the things that Leanne did, so. Allegedly. You can believe her to be, believe her to be a saint, but... Leanne uh, did nothing wrong. <laughs> of I think uh, over party. So we want to. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to go in turn order and describe our uh, pro our prologues here or epilogues? Pardon me. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah, I feel real bad now. <laughs> so, um, so at this point. Um, if you play a card of your own sweet, sweet, of your own suit, sweet. of your own sweet, sweet. Now, now who's talking, now who's talking French? <laughs> of their own sweet. sweet. <laughs> yeah. You gotta do this. C'est moi, uh, c'est mon sweet. <laughs> Ici, voila. <laughs> um... So if you if you play a card, a number card of your own uh, suit, <laughs> you overcome the obstacle. The Demon King's grip on the city has loosened, but the revolution goes on. Do you feel weary or triumphant? I feel triumphant. So what this looks like, I think, is um, as we said, my my chief rival, my chief enemy, is this group of um this sect of the demon lord this demon lord cult uh that is so um against the very nature of what my church and my religion means to me um and i think that they try to um shadow shadow bend because they're shadow benders <laughs> They try to shadow bend at us. They try and they try and like literally draw the life force from us. And like I said, typically Pearl's magic is not strong. She like it's not a commonly practiced thing, but her connection to the old ways is very strong. So I think this whole battle, she's just been barely like, whoops, sorry, uh, I got that shield up just in time so that you don't get like, ah, uh, like little like, oh, you got a bruise? Oh, it's a slightly smaller bruise now. <laughs> like, <laughs> often, like, I think she's very timid with the magic at first until this happens. And then suddenly um, she... <laughs> she like literally makes the shield almost invert into 
a bubble that encapsulates them and then their own shadows start to consume them. Um, wow. I like that. Yup. <laughs> well, they, and, and I don't think once they've put that energy out there, I don't think they can take it back. Just like just like the sharks and the animal stuff, it's, <laughs> they don't have full control of it because it's nature. I feel like I you're like trying. I feel like you're making some pointed comments at some people. You know, <laughs> no, it's, no, it's I think my, that's great. <laughs> it's my turn for my story right now, Jordan. <laughs> No, I, I, I think I think it's really cool. I'm always trying to say. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, but when, yeah, a, Abe would hate it, but but Jordan when Pearl does cool. it, it's cool. When Lien does it, it's a big problem. I see. <laughs> Listen, all I all I did was was put them in the corner. They self shadowed themselves. That's yeah. not uh, all. They did, they did that to themselves. I just stopped their shadow from coming at innocent bystanders. And the result is the shadow wants to eat someone. So once it's out, it can't. It yeah. Can't get once once in. they put it out into the world, they can't take it back. Like once they put that sort of evil and that darkness out, they don't actually have control of it. They just they just have the ability to to draw it out and sort of direct it. But I've kind of so they shaded themselves. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Chat. You're exactly right. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think. My little bit of and and I think she's a little bit concerned. I'm gonna be honest, but but also like like okay okay. And I think I think she goes forward in supporting all of you in your elements of battle a little more confidently because she was able to do this. All right. Well, don't worry. That confidence is about to come crashing down horribly. <laughs> oh no! Um, I drew the most cards you can draw, and I still wound up with the worst possible result. Oh no! Um, which is a number card of a different suite. Um, <laughs> and in this instance, um, you suffer a terrible defeat. You are battered and broken. Do you have the will to fight on? I think that, like, Minnow is coming in with this, you know, she's accumulated these people. I'd say there's about, like, a band of, like, 15 people. And maybe five of them, along with the rest of us, make it out. Mm. Like, absolute destruction running off with our tails between our legs. Um as to whether Minnow retains the strength to keep fighting, I think that's going to depend on what happens with Abe's fight. Ooh. As to whether they can save her sister or not. I have a, I have a bittersweet idea, of course. Oh no, you would. Um, I, I got dealt. Delicious. I got dealt bittersweet i didn't get so a victory lit. option you know so. if you had maybe if you had drawn one more card we <laughs> <laughs> ended nothing wrong it's not just about winning it's about telling a good story <laughs> so okay 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 i think kevin the player had my back on the decision no yeah 100 percent. yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Leanne? i was all the way Leanne. Was this whole thing a vengeance play about against him about him liking Lee Mr. Gentleman movie? Maybe. Who's to say? <laughs> who can who can Who's say? Who's to for say? Sure? But yes. <laughs> oh, you guys are getting all the aces. Yeah, Leanne did bad. She <laughs> has suffered a terrible defeat and is battered and broken. Oh, I man. think I think if we go by the order that we went in before and like that Abe's battle was last, like all y'all went with Abe to support him and like Leah and got left behind. Like she like kept on with her own fight and like, but she got caught off guard because she doesn't have anybody watching her back. And no, I she, don't like this. Okay. Oh. <laughs> she got caught. She got caught. Uh, she got caught sideways by some of her family and we just see red in the water. No, oh. mm -hmm. I don't like, Oh man. I, I feel like, I feel like Pearl didn't realize you weren't with us. No, yeah, I might have, like, uh, you helped me, and then, like, I think that that sort of um, disagreement between Abe, between Abe and, and, and Lian, like, sort of, that might have happened one-on-one. -on -one. That wasn't, like, a group thing. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Like, it, it's a big enough battle that, like, we, we 
Oh yeah. Like if it's a whole like for statewide revolution, it makes no, sense that sure. we wouldn't always had eyes on each other. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh man, oh man. Um, I mean, start from the start. There's going to be some blood. There's going to be heads rolling. <laughs> I left it open for your family to not be the worst, and then they still be the worst. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because <laughs> Leanne was right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh i'm gonna play the queen of spades uh for a card um i think it's Ooh. appropriate seeing as yeah. um as a uh, minnow is is the spade and so the mm. queen of spades is like her sister um and oh. so it's uh i emerged victorious but at a cost it says i emerged victorious okay. yeah You're trying so hard to self-sacrifice well, right now. I, I You're trying a, so I hard. I have an interesting, I have an interesting <laughs> yeah. visual and a reason for me to not be able to go back. It's a little cliche, of course. So I'll tell you what I've got, what I, what, where I've got, gotten up to, and then we can we can work together to make a good story at the end. So mm-hmm. all of all of the other things seem to be cr- trying, like all of the other actions seem to be about crashing through the different enemy lines. Right? We had to get past the cultists. We had to get past the thieves guild, which had turned. Um, and all the goal was to was to get to the get to the edge of the uh, of the flotilla that would that will allow us to just go down and directly to where these people batteries are. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm imagining these like um, these like cranes that almost cast uh, diving bells out like fishing rods, so that they crash into the water with our Ooh. with our landing teams, you know, and me. Minnow and I and 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 her crew are in one of them, uh, and so we hit the water and we're d- and the diving bells are like sinking down to the bottom and because I because we're not fish people so we can't just swim down or whatever, um, but yeah I like the idea of these cranes that look like fishing rods that toss us out to into the water. Um, there is a limited amount of room. That was what I was gonna go on. Mm. It's it's the it's the old Armageddon uh, Armageddon. Someone has to stay behind to push the button thing, um, which is what I was thinking. And so it becomes I don't know until we're down there that that Minnow is uh, as after her sister too, and we've got everything balanced ba- because it's because because just like going into space, going into into water is all about weight. Yeah. Right. And so I and so the the return although. Logically, Minnow, Minnow, you said you lost a bunch of people, but we could have lost a bunch of diving bells as well. I think that would have happened, yeah. Dro- like drop ships getting shot yeah. out or something yeah. by the. Yeah, so we have fewer, we have fewer things to return with. And, and I set up Chekhov's dead Jordan character in the first part anyway, because I said that that's what my that's what I was my plan was to do, and to save the kids was the whole the whole reason behind it. So it's the only logical thing for Abe. Uh, I think is that we we come across the youth that I helped raise and Corvin's sister, and uh, I imagine the crew that uh, sorry not Corvin uh, Minnow the, and the crew that Minnow runs with is also very young. And we get back to the last diving bell to get back up after rescuing them from this these coral prisons, and it won't be able to get reeled back up if I'm in it. <sighs> so I shove all the ki- I shove all the kids in. I I hand the wrench over to the to the the young kid that uh we're rescuing uh and I shut the door. I don't see it as a loss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I made my choice. I directed the trolley. And you would say that about about Lynn. <laughs> Lynn too. Yeah. I don't see it as a loss. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting uh it, it doesn't say you it says you're battered and broken and not dead, so I guess you could be battered and broken and I don't I, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking like that I do not have the will to to, to go on. What's it? Right. Uh, physically. <laughs> yeah, do you do you have the the will to fight on? Like literally no. Literally, no. <laughs> deliberately no. Just fully, yeah. fully. You don't have the air to go on. You don't have the blood to go on. You no, don't have anything to go on. Okay. No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> so uh, the dust settles. We take a few moments to gather our thoughts, and as a group, we ask the following questions: 
Um, how do we see each other? Have things changed after the start of our rebellion? Uh, yeah, there's only two of us left. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty drastic change. <laughs> that's pretty, pretty clear. Um, after like Leanne, <laughs> Leanne and Abe are like, fuck. But I think also the broader question is, my goal was to take down those the people batteries. So yeah. I'm assuming that's the real that's the real success in my thing that mm -hmm. I did the story, the little side story of my uh, stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I think that would be the big change. That's what I would be hoping for. Mm -hmm. Is that that part of it is damaged beyond repair? We saved a lot of people, but there are two less of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty big difference. Sure. I think um, the how do we see each other question, I think um, Minnow saw Abraham as like the core of a good person in his moment of sacrifice. And I think now that the kids are left behind and considering that she and her sister were brought up by, you know, someone who took advantage of them, that Minnow and her sister are going to carry on this tradition of giving these kids, like, a safe place. And I think that they're going to call it the Abraham house. Yeah. Baby's babies. Baby's babies <laughs> live on. Oh, God. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Uncle Abs, sweet Babs. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Um. I also want to believe that Minnow and Pearl become friends. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. I think. I think. Um. Because you you'd already come and like confess stuff to me, and I I already yeah. I already um. took you like seriously as an incredibly competent like at what you do and everything like that mm -hmm. but but now i think we could be like personal friends <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that we could actually as human as semi-human people as people yeah as people as <laughs> ocean people we can be like people friends yeah can i nominate leanne, leanne to answer the second question for us Ooh, i love that yes Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, let's see. How does the de Demon King respond? What nefarious plan is he putting into motion? So I think... I think we that this is not the only flotilla out there. And this is not the first flotilla that the Demon King has, has conquered. And he is, he is, he is, he is uh, rousing forces from the other flotillas to come here. And like we we get like we see that like if we get if we like z sort of zoom out on this big ocean, we saw all these other flotillas, and like if we zoom back in, we see these other flotillas have similar like corals like ha that are acting as prisons, and then those people that are in those prisons are being like sort of taken out, but like they are like husks of themselves, and they are being used at, in like this in in this sort of ant anti rebellion force as like sort of these. Um, because they're husks because they've been in, some of them have been in there so long that they they do not recognize like and they are kind of more malleable and they're more easily like sort of brainwashed and they are being they are being uh, sort of formed into a into a response to this rebellion so it's like zombies kind of a little bit i love that like my my analogy would be more like um like soldiers of impoverished nations who like have mm. who are like in such a situ who are in such a situation where like they don't have the facilities to like know better and like or like maybe don't have the resources available to them to have other options mm -hmm. but fantasy but but make it but make it water world <laughs> but yeah. make it water world but like in a fun way <laughs> you know, in a, a fun ocean, yeah. ocean demon rebellion. Yeah, kind they're of. also. I mean, eighty percent of this has already been political allegory. <laughs> I mean, the name—it's in. I mean, 
It, it's in, it's, it's baked in. in. It's what the game is. Let's be real. Yes. Yeah. In the end, it's in the name. It's in the end credits. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. All right. And our last question is: How does the rest of the city view us? I think we can give ourselves a win on this one. Can we? Yeah. Is it allowed? All the people yeah. that all the people that came out of those prisons are going to be on our side. I have to imagine. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine how they they were having a good time down there. Yeah. <laughs> and then and all and everyone who they left behind and everyone who is connected to them and everyone who you yeah. know what I mean like the and this we've already said from the story the citizenry was already being treated horribly. So given given an out, given an like Yeah, I imagine a lot of fence sitters pick a side uh after mm. this happens. So in the finale which has happened some other time, uh, you know, thirty episodes from now or whatever. You know, it's our it's our flotilla that uh, flotilla that's the last stand, and it's because Ooh. of all the people we. It's either the people, the the kids of the people that we rescued, or or something like that. But that's, you know, our flotilla becomes radicalized uh, very easily, very quickly. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So. We are viewed as heroes. Except for the end. Yeah, of course. I was going to say... <laughs> we <laughs> I can't all be heroes. Soft moment, but yeah. I was hoping for a, you, a confrontation with your family, and then you, like, give them the, the F you and... I was 100%... I was, I was going to do a confrontation, but I got mob instead of an amoral wizard. Oh, right. Oh. I snuck in the amoral wizard at the end. I got him. That's I fair, just lost. Yeah. I mean, you did have your confrontation with the family. It just didn't yeah. go. It didn't go super well. Good. Exactly. It was a little lopsided. Yeah. Yeah. It was lobster sided. It was lob. <laughs> yeah. Lobs sided. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> and well, that's like our show, game. folks. That was, <laughs> yeah. This was awesome. That was fantastic. This Thank could, you. This, you could. This could turn into a little campaign game. You change that oh, first. Yeah. You change that first sh section about bonds to be like the things that happened in between. You know, and then you then you build up. That's a that's a good little flow though, there. I could see like this being a a ongoing long campaign for like a whole revolution. Yeah, since it does like do that back and forth where like oh the and then the demon king has has his response, or you could do as like vignettes of like different cells of this rebellion that are all like sort of. And, I, and it also I, it also describes it as being used as a way to set up for another game. I was I was literally yeah. reading that. I was yeah. about to read that out that this game. Is intended to create a quick, rich prologue for characters who rise up against the Demon King, but it can also, but it's possible to use it as like an entire yeah, I mean, world setting. Like we just made the, such. A, I would play more stuff in the world we created. I would too. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I could see like a blade tech. In, in... Yeah. 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 It's also it'd be a great opener for Spire. You yeah. Just, you know, you Spire as the city and and tell this the first the story of the first uprising kind of thing. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Highly recommended. I want to try out the Definitely. game that it's based on too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jamie's game. By, yeah. by Jam yeah, Jammy. Um, because this game is actually from the Jammy Jam Jam. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah. Oh my goodness. Y'all, that was heckin' awesome. This game was okay. very, very cool. I'm gonna put uh the game link in the chat again for anyone the check go check this out. Um, and if you watch this later over on YouTube, I will put the game info down below. I will put the info for all these cool people down below. So go find everyone what they're doing. Go find this game. Play it yourself. Because, oh my gosh. It's very, like, it is It is very much a, a GM-less, prep -less game. Like, you are very much... The instructions are in there. You just need the deck of cards. And then you just need to, like, talk through sort of the scenes. And, like, it's very, very approachable. Um, yeah. I think it's very, very cool. But well, let's go around and say hi to everyone. Tell us who you are, where people can find you, what sort of cool stuff you're up to, um, and anything else you want to tell us. Just tell us, just tell us something fun. <laughs> Whatever you got. Uh, let's go in reverse order around. So first up is Jordan. My name's Jordan. I'm made of cartoons on Twitter and um, Instagram. Uh, I can be seen uh, every other Saturday running um, Blades, except tomorrow is our final episode of this run of it. Um, last episode, we had a ghost do a lecture on noodles and also a little bit about being a ghost. 
and a little uh, bit about being a ghost, mostly on noodles. Yeah, everyone wanted him to talk about noodles, and I and he wanted to talk about being a ghost. Um, well, anyways. Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow uh, is our finale for that, our wind down for that. Um, and then in two weeks after that, taking its place is a Campaign of Heart, uh, which is the, I mean, it's been out a little bit now, but it's the sequel to Spire and uh, Rowan, Rowan Rook and Descartes' Spire game, uh, where it takes place in the weird, strange dungeon under, under the big tower of Spire. I'm excited for that very much. Um, there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember what it is. So, uh, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen movie sucks, and uh, uh, <laughs> I, hey. I see the rest of my time. For a title, to your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in in three weeks for your title to your opinion. Amazing. Yeah, just stick around for when we make that show next. Uh, anyways, on to the next host of our new show. Kevin! <laughs> Hi, I'm Kevin. You can go and follow me at knit underscore neck on all the places. I make games, which you can buy at knit, knitnack.itch.io, including one. If you liked this, if you liked all the weird, the, the sad, and the just a little bit of happy, and like the moral quandaries of some of the notes in this game, you can check out my two new games, which are uh, thinly veiled metaphors for surviving in the Vietnam War, but focused on the Vietnamese people instead of the Americans or the French. And those are out. I'm super proud of them. You can buy them in a bundle together. And I also wrote an adventure for the Unbreakable Anthology, which ha was which was designed for 5e, but is based on the SRD and basic rules, which are free, available online. And this book is on uh, Drive Through RPG, so Wizards gets zero dollars. <laughs> And uh, I am also on Unnatural Disasters, a Monsters of the Week show, which was previously on Welcome to the Party, but we are moving over to All Nerds here, Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. This, this coming Wednesday will be our first episode on the new channel. We are very excited. You can check out our old VODs on the other channel, including the last episode, where in which we had Powerline of the Goofy Movie show up <laughs> to save us. Amazing. It was a thing. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing. Love it. Um, yeah, next we have Corvin. Hi, so I am Corvin. I uh, do a little bit of writing. I have some things cooking up right now, not really anything uh, to announce. I did put out a book a couple months ago. Um, Jess, is it okay if I send you the link on yeah. Discord? Yep, send okay. it to me. Yes, it is a little book of poems I wrote back in November. Um, it's billed as a book about the end of the world, but um, it's really about uh, anti-capitalist revolution. So if you enjoyed what you saw here today, you might look like this little collection of poems. Hell yeah. But yeah, that's what's up with me. That's awesome. That's heckin' awesome. Um, I'm loving all these. I'm loving all these very appropriate plugs. Can I just say <laughs> this was the right crew playing this game? I feel like you're uh, definitely outnumbered in the sad boy department. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh no, I love. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's good. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for being here. I want to thank everyone who played this game. I want to thank the creator of this game for making such a cool yes. game. Um, it's so good. Please do uh check it out um and uh, everything else that that he does um want to thank roll 20 for letting us be part of their spotlight program um and yeah just want to say uh come back tomorrow for the finale of our blades in the dark come back in uh you know approximately two weeks time for the start of our new heart game and then come in come back for when we have a new show um where nerds argue about stuff <laughs> You're making you're you're joking, but I am I'm writing the pitch. Right We're now. leaving I, bit territory very quickly. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> we'll never run out of content for this show. I know. There's there's <laughs> no lack of nerds wanting to argue about like who's right. I used that, to work that's a at, that's a that's a never ending well. That's a never ending well actually. I used to <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> but it's I used to work at a comic book. Note. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. I used to work at a comic book shop, so my body is ready. I used uh, to work at a comic book yeah. shop, and that was oh, all God. that ever happened there. So I can only imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Um, 
But yeah, thank you all so much for being here. Please, yeah, this is a blast. Do. This game was heckin' so awesome. Um, if you are still here and you haven't already, hit that follow button so we can hang out. We play lots of games, video games, tabletop role-playing games, all sorts of stuff. We love highlighting um, indie games over on this channel with our Spotlight program. Um, and uh, just just all sorts of heckin' things with as many cool people as will come play games with us. That's what we do. So thank you all for being here, for being awesome. Um, I'm probably going to throw us over to a different tabletop role playing game channel because we got to show the love and, uh, spread the love around the community to all the people playing cool stuff. So I'm going to find them. And while I do, I'm just going to wish you all a very good night. I hopefully see you soon. Have a good night. Play more games. See you later. Bye. Don't forget to murder your demon lord, whatever that is. Bye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't forget to murder your demon lord.